Shadow Clark Yaoi Gang, we love riding smart. Oh. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Rock Bunker Home. Previously on the Black Sea. The three captains of the Riptide Pirates sail off from Onawa towards the Promised Bastion, a raft stronghold, so Jay can search for answers. Speaking of your search for answers, during the first leg of this voyage, you explored the Tide Strider Library, finding books on undead for Chip's condition and the scroll containing the spell that turned Finn to a bird. You spent the rest of that journey comforting your crew identifying your magical items, and reading something. On the day you were meant to arrive, you sailed down the seemingly calm route, taking much longer than expected. Before nightfall came, the spyglass showing you you should be at the stronghold, but there was nothing within sight. Gillian threw a rock disturbing a horribly mutated, knotted, hollowed creature. It flew towards the ship in a rush before being shot by an arcane bolt, disintegrating it. And so, the journey continues. We need a test tube! Suddenly, as soon as you hear Chip yell that, there is this immediate <laughs> around you as the mirage that is uh, uh, that was completely ke keeping the stronghold invisible begins to dissipate and you all see immediately you are encircled and trapped by enormous metal walls. Oh shit, we're in a test tube. Oh, we're in a test tube. <laughs> I told you we were in a test tube. You are in the center of this encircled uh, entrapment and one direction where the ship is currently sailing towards, you see the end of this bay that you're in to the docks that connect to the entrance of this iron island, which will uh, lead to the base of the stronghold tower. However, the other direction is your ship's only exit. Steel doors, you notice, are rapidly sliding shut as this stronghold begins to fully trap you into this bolt. We can't make it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we, we could try. The next thing you can't miss because of the bright glowing lights, you see these crystal-powered arcane turrets sit at numerous points atop these walls like guard posts. They are all clearly locked on your <laughs> ship. We gotta make it! And you just saw how they disintegrated that abomination of a hollow creature. So maybe this place isn't as abandoned as I thought. Um, Jay, do, 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 you, 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 got, you got rank, right? Do you outrank these turrets? No. <laughs> Jay, remember when you said there was nobody gonna be here? I'm gonna have you guys roll initiative real quick. Two. Six total. If we die, my last words are I told you so. Nine. If we <laughs> die, my last words are nine. <laughs> That's good, too. Top of the round here is going to be Chip. Motherfucker. These rays are going to fire. If not the next round, the next one after. Within seconds, you see that these are already have reloaded. They're all locked on your ship. You have two options. You can choose safety for your crew. Stay on the ship and have everybody sail towards the exit, because it looks like that exit, those doors, they're massive iron doors. They're sliding shut. <laughs> Once they're shut, there's not getting through it. There's not climbing over it. There's no magic. There's no nothing, bro. It looks like you will be trapped and you will be shot by these arcing turrets. The other option is to book it for the entrance of the stronghold with the ship. Or, third option, up to you guys, split. But in order to get your ship out of this predicament, your whole crew needs to be here to move it. Or someone with the, uh, 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 Gust of Wind coin, or Gust of Wind spell, has to be here. Wait, so when do you say split? I, I, I'm i a bit confused. You mean like- take Yeah, I don't a, know how we would do that. Like take a rowboat or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I'll look at Jay. In or out? How fast, can I look at the doors and see, like as a free action, and see how fast they're closing? They're gonna close the same time that these things fire. Woo! Okay, so you either make it out with the entire ship, or you make it to the stronghold. I look towards ship. I think we gotta keep going. Fuck it! Keep going! Jay says, commit, get to the stronghold. <laughs> yeah. Gillian, you can shout something out even though it's not your turn if you want. Gillian! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gil. Can always count on you. You know that that like reflective uh, uh, look when you see someone sniping at you, you see the reflection of their scope? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. You see like almost on every point, 
like way over more than you can count on every point on the top of these really tall walls are these like glowing purple lights signaling that they're all aiming at your ship everywhere you look it's like a like a like a line of lights everywhere can i spend my turn getting so- the crew below deck making sure that there's no one like in direct line of getting shot by a fucking disintegration ray yeah you can but you won't move because your crew needs to be on the deck to row yeah we need they had to row we don't have Fuck, wind. You're so right. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. All hands on deck right now to move as fast as possible. Whatever can get us there faster, or if you want to like see if there's any sort of test you can do as to like what they're aiming at, like if it's a heat thing, if it's a magic thing, if it's like a thing that looks like a boat. Yeah. Um. Because like if we can make them not fire at us even for one fucking second, that's huge. Yeah. Okay. And they're probably not manned because we're in the Black Sea. So. Okay. So is there a way that I can determine how these? cannons are uh, aiming at us, uh, targeting us. You can truly try something and find out, yeah. Is there any flame nearby? Definitely there would, I mean, we're in a, like a dark sea, yeah, I would totally have torches out on the ship. Could I take a lantern and control the flames, um, bring them up and like move them a great distance, like move them around to see if that light or anything like that is what they could be targeting? You have the control flames cantrip, that's gonna be I like do. five feet. You have like a five feet of Maybe I'll just, I'll use my movement as well if I can like. Maybe you can get up in the crow's nest or something. Yeah. I just want to move it enough to where I can see if that is moving at okay. all. Okay, yeah, you uh, take um, the lantern up the crow's nest, uh, control the flame, take it out of the crow's nest and then move it five feet up in the air. I'll look to the closest one and, and pretty much see if that one's moving. They're all like even distance because you're like in the center of this massive, I mean, it's like hundreds of feet in every direction to get to one of the walls. Yeah, so they're everywhere. You're. You are so, you have been lured into this basically um, without your knowledge and you're in a really bad spot. So that's your turn, that's what you're trying to do. Next stop is going to be Gillian. Yeah, I mean like, does that look like, do we get any info from that at all? They haven't fired yet. Well, that's good. It's hard to say. Well, it's like to see if they're aiming moves. Yeah, it's just a really, really bright glow. So it's hard to see like if they move up and down, but go ahead and roll perception to see if you get that that, 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 that notice. You can both roll perception. Oh, I didn't even buy, I will now though. Yeah, I got a 15. I got an eight. These lights flicker as if they have moved, but they're still well aimed on your ship just because of how close this is to the ship. And you're not sure if it's because of the light, the flame, or something else. But it does react to your movement, especially when you move the flame oh, up. Oh, that, that's something. Okay. Okay, we might have to just go. When do you think these things are going to fire? Because when they do, I might just shoot a firebolt in the air. Oh, did they move when you moved up there? I kind of, I think so, I don't know. Oh, cool, maybe they're targeting us directly. <laughs> uh, I am going to uh, run up behind the sail. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Gust of wind. Put my hands out, blast wind into the sails. I'm going to try and get us to the entrance of this uh, uh, this stronghold as fast as I can. That'll, that'll definitely help you guys. <laughs> that, that's what I can do. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. So you just... <laughs> this fucking yep. gust of wind just starts blowing out from your hands, airbending style. The sail uh, drops immediately. You see uh, Griffin and, and I guess Arl is on the other side. They both drop the sails because they haven't been down when you're rowing, so now they're down. As soon as you do that, uh, and it's uh, very coordinated even, like they've read your mind, and it just just billows out, and it starts moving extremely fast. Everyone row, like, just as an example, you're gonna get disintegrated in four seconds! <laughs> <laughs> I blast wind in the sail. Griffin yells out, what are we gonna do when we get there if it's still aiming at us? Do we all get off the ship? <laughs> do we stay on the ship? I think we all get off the ship. What about your grandfather? He's in the library. Jay, your crew just yelled out, what What should they do when you get there? They are all like helping row and stuff, uh, which I'll row at the end yeah. of the round. What do you do? Um, A perception check to see if we are safe once we go down there. Also, my, my thing, like my main thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to see if maybe I could do a history check and see if I know of this technology and if there's a way to stop it. Bypass code! Let's say perception is a bonus action. Okay, I'm with Just that. Just so you're making not, you're not making two rolls for free. I'm gonna roll history first. Eh, 11. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flash a genius list, I guess. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, so 15 instead. Then roll your perception. 27. Let's go! <laughs> I have a plus 12, man. I mean, it's yeah, like... we, I, 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 we should actually just have our eyes closed and like trust <laughs> yeah. Jack. Yeah. And I'm assuming you guys are moving at an extremely fast pace as fast as you can so that it's not like you're being... <laughs> yeah, I know we're going. <laughs> That'd be crazy. With a 15, 
you have like you've never had to go to a stronghold like this uh, because you've had the luxury of being the daughter of a vice admiral, the granddaughter of the admiral, which means that your training has gotten to be on your designated home island and summer camps on the same island and stuff like that, basically like homeschooled and whatnot. All that you know is what, what you've read and what you've read is mostly that these arcane turrets are usually manned, but for some reason, this looks like out of control like these are just on uh and powered like just by themselves uh as far as like what they usually aim at um you know it's definitely it, it's not just like heat or or perception and stuff like that it's way more advanced than that uh so you're probably not safe at all unless you pick a direction okay uh perception perception was so good uh yes you can see that once you get there um there is sort of like a barrier like uh, like the iron walls kind of like come out and then it should be safe once you get to the docks we're okay. totally getting locked in <laughs> we totally so are getting I mean, like, locked in that is what it is you are getting locked in because you've already picked the direction so like even after this the exit is um Close. Why would they design it like this, Jay? <laughs> what sort of <laughs> sick know. fucking sick fucking navy business shit is this? You do know it's a stronghold. This part of the stronghold is for like, if someone invades the stronghold at any point, like for example, like going to war or whatever, and they come in, they have to come in through the one entrance and then go to the docks to get off their ships. That's why this part of the journey to the actual stronghold is so dangerous for like any enemies and stuff. Oh, so it's like a checkpoint of sorts. I don't know why this is even happening. These are usually manned. Maybe we can appeal to their emotions if they're mad. They don't have emotions. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear, we're sorry. Like, you're like, you're like echoing down his face. No kill. Okay, I think they won't they're fire now. unmanned. What? So bottom of the round here, I'm going to roll. Pretty good roll for your whole ship. For what? For moving, surely. So you shout out the command. Uh, you did make the decision. There's no turning back now. Everybody has gotten to the position. Everybody, Igneous, Griffin, Queen, uh, uh, even Dre with his legs. And you know that your grandfather is still in the magnificent library and that door is still on the inside of the bottom deck of your ship on a wall. So if this gets destroyed, if that door gets destroyed, he's gonna get popped out of it. You would know that from how, the, how this spell works. So immediately you guys start going towards the commit. You go toward, you start rowing, gust of wind. You are blasting forward. You're going so fast, the very tip of the ship uh, raises up with the unexpected and, and abrupt momentum as you start uh, barreling towards the docks to the Iron Island, the Promised Bastion. And in one turn with all of this, because of how I rolled for it, you are able to get to the docks and begin to like rush off of it. And as you come in, you kind of uh, kind of emerge through, I'm gonna say it's like a, like a giant frame of iron walls that you have to sail past. And then there's more iron walls that surround the docks. You are safe as far as you know. From the lasers. <laughs> they were going to fire this round. They did not. You made it to safety, but they're still very powered. Uh, you can still hear like this electric hum, like like out uh, past where you came from. Sorry, there's something really loud. Do you think they're gone, Jay? I think I think we're in the clear. Yeah. Um. Here, let me ch let me check real quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are not in the clear. There's a main road from these docks to what is like a portcullis that leads to this staircase that leads to the actual entrance to the main base of this uh, uh, stronghold. But surrounding it is a small town. Uh, and you can see that it is, there are hollowed in this town. So if you're going to get to the actual entrance, the main entrance, you're gonna have to rush through hollowed. Top of the round, it is going to be chip. So how unsafe does it seem like it'll be to stay on the boat here? Uh, about as unsafe as it was docking at Onawa. What did we do before? We made the ship invisible? We did for an hour. I just casted it on... Uh, remember how our ship is oh. actually uh, a robot? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, do. Um, yes, yes. Uh, I, I totally forgot. Alphonse, my bad bro. But like as soon as the Mirage dipped, Alphonse goes, Danger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can make it invisible again, or we can have everyone go in the, uh, the, the library. That way, there's only one entrance. If something does wander in there, I'm sure they can take it. True. All right, we need to start thinking about how we're going to get out of here when you're done. I don't think that'll be a problem. We can open the gate again from inside somewhere, surely. I mean, it seems like the technology is, is working still. Everything still functions. Queen and I can also look around here on the outside while you're on the end. Yeah, I mean, maybe you could find some sort of control on the outside wall or... I think someone needs to be here to defend the ship, so in case you're not back before invisibility drops. That would be good, yeah. If you could, like, search around before invisibility drops. 
that would be best case scenario, I think. I mean, it just looks like a bunch of hollow, but everything is strong in numbers, so be careful, okay? Uh, as you're yeah, as you're looking out, you do see like lumbering hollowed creatures, some that are more twisted than others, some more human than others. Uh, you also see skeletons like fallen onto spears stuck up on the ground, like through their ribcage, like sticking straight up. And then there's swords and stuff rusted. Is this like a similar similar site to what we saw outside the egg area? Because I remember we saw like a bunch that of soldiers. That looked like a failed battle. This looks like soldiers left behind that didn't want to turn in the hollowed. Okay, so okay. Are the hollowed undead? No, uh, Gillian's like sniff, not that it's active right now, picks it up as something like uh, like a mix between the fiend and undead smells. And it's so much more, it's so much worse. It's so much more rank, but it's not quite the same. Uh, Griffin, stay on the ship, right? Yeah, well, uh, look around. Three of us go in. Okay. Yeah. You guys want to sneak, or you want to just yeah about break that? And let a rip. Do you have any funny shoes on? <laughs> look down. Just these goofy ass fucking. Those are really fucking funny, actually. It's like I stick my my feet in the mouth of the bass, but it's like a big <laughs> bass slippers. Like slippers. On. Yeah. Is this comfortable? No. An infusion slot recently kind of opened up, and and I have this one that lets me make boots of elven kind, which help you sneak around a little bit oh, better, but like, sorry, it seems these, like you're these, good. These dogs are taken. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, okay. Let's just head <laughs> just in. fully pigeonhole myself out of that. <laughs> we could pop him in the mirror again. The mirror's broken. The mirror is broken. We did break it. Yeah. It's okay. Holes are the new mirror. I throw down a portable hole and jump in it like a fucking Looney Tune and close it up behind me, and there's just like a small sack there now on the ground. You're just Toontown teleported, like... <laughs> what? Uh, I actually, hold on. I, I think you can't breathe in there. Let me check. It's 10 minutes of air, but I realized way too late that I forgot to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to let you out or can you get out? I can get out, but okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm not going to come out. When the 10 minutes expire, I'm going to burst out. You have to climb out of the hole, so I think it has to be on the ground when you when you want to get out. No, it says it's a DC strength check, right? Oh, if it's folded up. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So in t they don't. I guess they wouldn't know that in 10 minutes I'm going to run out of air and burst out of this thing. Convenient. I'm not going to question that. Pick up the sack and I go sneaking. Yeah, I, uh, I put my hands on the ship, it turns invisible, it slowly cloaks around it, and I uh, go sneaky mode. Since Gillian didn't do it, I'm going to put on my boots of Elven Kind. I don't need to fucking attune to these things. They, they're not attuned. Can I still hear them while I'm in the hole? It's like so muffled, okay? It's like so muffled, you can barely understand what they're saying, but yes, you can hear muffled sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> and I'm going to say vice versa, you guys can also hear muffled sounds like he's in a sack. Oh yeah, no, I just, I like said the most important information to them just then. What do you think he's saying in there? Probably nothing important. Okay, so they're gonna, they're the, um, most of the crew will probably hide below deck near the door where Finn is currently in the library. Griffin grabs you on the shoulders before, after you finish casting the spell, says, All right, Cam, remember it's nighttime. So, we gotta hurry, but good luck, and none of you die. We'll be quick. Not again. This is stale. This is, this is stale. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, two, both of you roll stale checks. And Gillian, if you keep talking, I'm going to make you do it too. <laughs> <laughs> Just having fun. At least while they're sneaking. Uh, I got a 20, not natural. 23. So you guys start going from building to building, and you notice that these were like, like almost like a town or a village. These are houses that residential areas that kind of wrap around this uh, circular ring that surrounds the main tower. Uh, and they are toppled in on them themselves, some are just decayed, some are blackened like they've been burned. It looks like this place is abandoned. But you stealthily make your way to the portcullis um, that is completely open. It's like an iron gate that is completely open and there's a bridge that leads to a very steep set of stairs. And below the bridge, as you guys start to walk towards it, uh, you begin to feel this immense heat. And then as you get onto the bridge, you look over, you can see just like this pool of lava filled, filling this moat that um, surrounds the uh, the main stronghold. What? Why the, the fuck? fuck are the Navy so paranoid? That is some cartoonish <laughs> shit, Jay. This is insane. This is like super villain layer shit. It is the Black Sea. I don't know if, like, in your knowledge, you don't think that any stronghold has looked this evil before. <laughs> yeah, this is just like <laughs> fucked up. This used to be the Sakura Ocean. This was like a beautiful place. It starts to get in your head, like, why is this so well defended, even in the Black Scene right now, um, and abandoned? What exactly are we uh, looking for here? Cause... Information? Um, any kind, but I'm specifically looking for stuff about my sister. 
There's so much we could learn here. I mean, the artificial Leviathan, and maybe even they know stuff about Niklaus. This is yeah, basically the world government we're talking about here. Like, it's the entire navy. They have intel. Evil castle with a lava moat? This place doesn't seem so uninhabited. You know, worst case, we've uh, snuck our ways into worse places. I don't, I don't know. I mean, lava isn't something that just kind of happens in a moat form, right? You got to put that there. Yeah, usually you'd like take <laughs> it in a bucket and no. like dump it. Is it a Minecraft thing? Are you doing a Minecraft thing right fucking now? Are you serious? We're going to die. No, this is, <laughs> this is what. Oh, part of the under dragon. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to move you on yeah, now. Yeah. Because <laughs> you broke. Yeah, yeah. You reach the end of this bridge. Everything is made out of some, this, this dark steel, the entire tower, um, it's very, like, very heavy and thick, and you can feel some sort of ar arcana emanating within it. Mm -hmm. uh, you cross the bridge, you get to the staircase that is uh, very steep. Uh, so steep that just, like, walking up it would normally constitute a constitution saving throw um, because of how steep and tiring it is, but you guys are fucking badass. Uh, so you get to... No, I have a limp. It should. Oh, okay, go ahead and make con save just for Jay, though, because your leg is really bad. Yeah, my leg's still fucked. 15, I got a 15. You're all good, you don't take a point of exhaustion getting up these steps? Which would have been bad. I, I really set myself up for failure there. <laughs> this door, uh, this entryway to the stronghold is completely open. Uh, and you guys head in, you emerge onto the main floor of the stronghold. It's common area. Quickly you realize the only light in this black space is what leaks in from outside, but as soon as you realize that, it's too late, you've already entered, and the sound of the door, heavy metal, <laughs> slams shut behind you as soon as you get in, echoing throughout the space. <laughs> Immediately disoriented, you're blinded, both of you, because you're human, and you're trapped. Fuck, we're human shit, we're human! <laughs> we walked into an entire <laughs> trap, Jay, and then walked we into walked another into another trap. <laughs> we okay. walked past the lava moat into another trap! How's it going out there? Not good, Gillian! Well, I put down the hole. We're good. You can hop out now. I don't- we're inside, we're away from the- the things. Has it been ten minutes? It probably, right if they get in, it probably is ten minutes for the travel. Okay, okay, okay. Then I am gonna- I'm just fucking burst out of the hole. As soon as you burst out, Gil, um, you're immediately the same. You're disoriented. Uh, something in here you feel immediately. You, Gillian, feel that there is something in here creating this overwhelming darkness that not even your dark vision is piercing through. Well, why'd you guys go in here? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> None of you can see at the moment, but all of you feel eyes on you. This is just like the hole. You guys hear it in the, somewhere in the space. Chip, are you just like really hungry right now? Do you need a sandwich? I mean, yes, I could use a sandwich, but that is completely unrelated to the sounds that we just heard. Wait a second, Jay. He doesn't have a tummy to rumbly. Then what was that? Hang on. I got this. No. Hello? <laughs> I, I hide. I hide. You, you can't see. I'm going to use your stealth check from before. Uh, there's, you don't know where to hide. Gillian, as you shout out, uh, hello, you also hear. I think we should keep it down. Well, at least it sounds like it's pretty far away, whatever it is, I think. A little closer now. Hang on. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to try and echolocate it, so it's probably good that you cut me off. You've dealt with magical darkness before. This one uh, definitely feels thicker, but normally with magical darkness, even good dark vision can't pierce it. Your hot mode might actually work here. Oh, okay. Okay. Hot mode. <sighs> uh, one or two, both of your swords ignite? Both of them. I'll light mine up too, actually, just so we have three, for one for everyone. I'll hand one to Jay. If we fight, give this back to me immediately, Okay. Okay. It I get, no, because I, I feel like you're going to get into a fight and do, like, something of your own. I need you to hand that to me first. Okay. Yeah, what if we get split up somehow? Give it back before that. What if it's, like, like a... a you're not having it anymore. I'm taking it back. <laughs> I think I've heard some sort of undersea story about a labyrinth like this. Does anyone have any breadcrumbs? No. Well, then I guess there's no way we'll know where we came from. I have a ten-foot chain, so we can drag that behind us. Uh, it's not bread. Also, what? <laughs> Once you um, ignite your flame and glow Destiny's Blade up, uh, light sort of fills the room as normal. However, whatever range uh, it would normally dispel darkness, it's only doing for half, and it's only around you. So the darkness isn't completely dispelled by the light. So you're getting probably about, I'm assuming, 15 feet of vision just in this room. 
which is enough to show from the entrance where you came, it's completely now a steel wall. It looks like it seems, it like melds perfectly together to where there's no more exit. You see to the left of where you came from is an uh, 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 just just an entryway. There's no door. On the right, it's the same thing. And both just kind of lead into these narrow corridors. Across from the entryway is the third door. It's a double door. And it looks like the same code of metal sliding doors, except something is in between it, preventing it from closing. On the right of it is a very dull red glow. So there's three ways to go? It looks like the, the middle way, the third way, would have closed if something in the middle had right. unblocked it. It's probably safest if we split up. Yeah. <laughs> Are, you trying to, Are you just trying to make this worse? I fucking love you, Charlie. <laughs> What's happening? I'll go look at whatever's um, emitting that dull red glow on the other side of the room, I say, as I go investigate whatever's emitting that dull red glow on the other side of the room. <laughs> go ahead and roll an arcana check. I got a nine. Uh, something about this is definitely arcane. You can tell that it's connected to the doors. Chip, do you want to check out what's stuck in the door with me? Yeah, dude. Uh, you guys look and you see that there is this black helmet, like a soldier's helmet, stuck between the doors. Uh, and Jay, go ahead, uh, roll history again. Come on, uh, seven. <laughs> yeah, no, with the seven, you're not actually sure what this is, but you know what? We belong to some sort of unit of soldiers, like a special kind, but that's all you know. Okay, this isn't an ordinary helmet, but... And it's so strong, not even these fucking steel doors can close it. It leaves just enough space for you guys to squeeze through. On the other side, you can see a staircase, like a, like a almost like a like a ladder that leads up. Uh, but it's not wide enough for Gillian's armor to fit through. Dude, my default reaction was we could use a helmet like that and just to take it out of the door, <laughs> which is so stupid. <laughs> so obscenely dumb. Okay, check this out. Uh -huh. I run at the door. I go, soft mode! And my armor shoot, shoots back at me. And I'm a, I do a sick fucking cartwheel through the door. And then I land on the other side. And I go, hard mode. <laughs> and then it comes back. Okay, so I guess... We're going that way. <laughs> if this was the way that, like, a fleeing soldier or advancing soldier left their helmet in, it must be important somehow. Yes? I agree. Also, honestly, I just made that up. I wanted to do a cartwheel. Well, the important people are going to be more upstairs. That's just how it works. It's like hierarchy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like the opposite of the undersea. Is there a way we could make sure that we could get to the other side of this door? I guess there's already a helmet stuck in it. But, like, if the helmet were to go. Would we just be fucked? Do we still have that that unmoving, unbreaking stick or whatever? I actually know I got rid of my. Uh, I got rid of that. How about you roll an uh, investigation check? Seventeen. You don't know too much about like magical nature of stuff, but you can tell that if this door shuts, it definitely would need a key to open, and the key is on the other side. So if you're on the other side of this door when it shuts, you are trapped on the other side. I have a silly plan. Hang on. I take the portable hole and like. This is actually such dandy shenanigans shit. I put it between, so if it shuts, we could crawl in one side and crawl out the other like dogs. All right, you'll leave the portable hole here? Yeah, I'm sure that won't come back to bite me. That's plan B. Okay, that works for me. And I know that I know that there's a key on the other side. Like you would need a key on the other side of the door. Like that art, that little glow, that red dull glow looks like, uh, like there's something that's slotted into it and you don't have it. So if it closes on this side, on the, if you're on the other side, Trap. So the lock for the door is on the right, other is, side. Is on the side we're coming in from. So it's keeping something in. Great! <laughs> Great. Like it was trying to shut and lock, but this helmet was in the middle of there and stopped it. Hole should should be that insurance then, I guess. Do so you put the hole under the helmet and then I put the hole like, like so so if it's two doors that are gonna shut, I put the hole in such a way so that if it shuts it'll shut like on top of the hole and there'll be half on one side, half on the other. So we can crawl in and then crawl out. Would the helmet like, fall in? It would if you're putting it right in the middle. Yeah, I guess it would. Well as soon as you put the hole down, the helmet would fall in. Wait, why why did it do that? <laughs> because the helmet's in the center, right? Oh, it's on the gr it's on the ground? Yes. Well you figure oh, the the oh, pressure I between in... the two doors would keep yeah, it there. Yeah, what about the pressure? Oh I thought it was like going like <laughs> It was good. It's doing what Connie's talking oh, it about. It's trying to, oh, it's opening oh, 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 I thought it was in the- <laughs> sorry, I thought it was in the middle, like, stuck. I, I also thought that. No, 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 it's on the ground. You, you can, can offset it, the portable hole a little bit. I was gonna say, you can offset it to where there's no- I offset it. I offset it. Alright, so where do you- where do the three of you want to go? Do you want to go with Gillian up these steps to the second floor, or do you want to look around the first floor? I'm following Jay. Wherever Jay's going, I'm going. I mean, I think we should go upstairs, but as soon as you get on the other side, I want to see if there's any, like, scuffs or anything, like, why is there a helmet here? Did somebody get dragged away and the helmet got, like, left behind somehow? Like- Any blood?
blood? Any blood? Any, which way? Any... Which way was the head? Oh my gosh! You guys have to come see this. Okay, okay. I walk through the door and then yeah. Stairs. And we're there. We're here. It's just a ladder. Oh, a lot. Oh, a ladder. That's not Gillian. That's a ladder. <laughs> 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 just with past investigation and Chip's previous role, you're not seeing dried blood anywhere. You're not seeing scuff marks anywhere. Uh, other than, like, maybe the scuff marks underneath the door. I'll climb up the ladder, because it seems like we've got all the information we're going to get here. As you're walking up to the second floor, or not walking, but climbing up the ladder, uh, you guys once again hear, like, these wet, sloppy noises somewhere. Something moving. And something watching. So it still feels like something is watching us. I'd like to look around and see if there's a way to illuminate or get rid of this darkness. Like It feels like it's coming from all around you like it's behind every wall uh, or around every corner in fact it feels like that to the point where you feel like there's numerous some things that's great you emerge from this sort of uh where this ladder leads to the second floor and on the across of this new chamber you see another set of uh double steel doors these are closed and there once again is another red dual light okay there is two other entryways I think it'd be safe if we split up again. Are you being serious or are you doing a bit? No. I thought you were, thought you were supposed to be the smart one. No, I'm just fucking around with you. <laughs> That's how I cope. This is like terrifying. That was the bit. What's the real? We gotta do something. Okay, well, we need to find a key. Yeah, that makes sense. Clearly. So we've gotta pick a way, right or left. Unless one of you knows like how to knock. Sure. I knock on the door. No. <laughs> no, what do we hear on the other side? I guess they don't teach you that up here, do they? Doing, <laughs> as you walk over to the other side of the door, you step on something, like, wet and squishy, and you knock on the door, and then you look down at your feet, and below your feet, my bash slippers, there looks to be a trail of skin, and it's Triton skin, and it leaves a trail from here underneath these steel doors. Gillian, those shoes are really loud. <laughs> I don't think it was the shoes. Why are the shoes so long? Oh. Oh, that's blood. Worse than blood, that's... Skin? There is no blood. It is just skin. And any blood would have dried. But it is clearly from a triton species. We've learned a lot here today. And one of these key factors is what's ever in here can turn you into skin. <laughs> just skin. So let's stay on our guard. Because that's triton. I'm triton. And I've still got my skin. Which means we got something this thing wants. Chip? Yeah? I think we should stay together. <laughs> and okay. go left. You, Chip, you've barely got any skin, so why don't you take- I was gonna say that, but then I felt like it was really offensive and mean. Just you guys, we're literally <laughs> looking at someone's skin and you're talking about how I've got no skin? No, it's fine. We're just gonna go left. You've got no skin in the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, seriously, seriously. Right, we, go, we go left. Yeah, yeah. We go left. Yeah. That was a good one, Gil. Thanks. This moment's gonna stay with me forever. Not the joke. This. I just stare at the skin. <laughs> Using this light, you can tell it's very narrow, so I'm going to need your marching order. Okay, I go in the back because I have skin. I guess I go first down the scary hallway. Yeah, I'll, I'll go last. I'll go last. Well, I feel like we should have light source, yeah, on both sides, so that makes sense. Looks to be about, like, it's a pretty long corridor, like 30 feet, and then it turns. So glad we did this, Jay. This is, like, gonna be able to cross this one off the bucket list. <sighs> yeah, I, okay, This listen. is cool. You, hey, you said we were looking for information, right? Well, I feel like we've gained a lot of it. Yeah, the skin man's here. You're all skin men to me. As you begin to take your steps forward through this corridor, Chip, it starts quiet at first, but as you step forward, with each step, this ringing in your ears gets, not your, yeah, this ringing in your mind gets louder because you don't have the ears of your skeleton. This ringing in your consciousness gets louder and louder the more you go down this corridor. Your swords telling you danger is near. Your chippy sense is tingling, bro. I just look at everybody. Danger. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. No, 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 no. Imminent. <laughs> Let me... Wait, shit. I should have been in front. Uh, <laughs> I, can I, like... I can't squeeze around them, right? Is it too tight? Or, it's like, way too narrow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, guys. Okay. We're gonna need to back the fuck up. Okay. Back up. Okay, back up. Back oh up. god, why am I in the back? I'm the slowest <laughs> runner. I'm just I'm like running as, as fast as I can. I'm just like so wide, like they can't get past me. I'm holding up the whole fucking line. Gillian, please move faster. So you don't even make it down the hallway entirely. You get back. Uh, once you get back, you realize that that flesh is gone by the other door. Oh, it got better. Hey, Jay, 
Like, how bad do you want to know this stuff? Dude, how much do you pay your cleaners? Oh, I mean, you know, it's like the mystery of my sister's death, and, uh... Well, well I, I just feel like, you know, somebody might have to now solve the mystery of our death. <laughs> just say the same thing. Chip, I'm gonna be honest, you're just being kind of a baby right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't let baby Chip stop you. Walk down the fucking hallway. Come on, Chip. We have dealt with... Like, we fought an Electrodon once. What could possibly be in here that is scarier than Stop an Electrodon? Stop doing that! Stop saying, there's gonna be nobody in there! There- what could possibly be worse than this? Stop it! Because you're making it worse! And you're being a dick! You guys are shouting quite loud, huh? Probably. She hurt my feelings. Jay. Chip. Say sorry to each other. I'm not saying sorry until she says sorry. Jay? This is like a lot of pressure on me now. You called me a baby. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown-up adult. Well, what's your response to that? Okay, just... fine. You're just- you're a grown-up adult, Chip. I'm sorry. Okay, Chip. What? What? I didn't say anything. You just kind of act like- <laughs> This is what I'm talking about! This is why I'm not gonna say sorry, because she's not actually sorry! <laughs> okay, you know what? I go- I go down- I go downstairs! I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really- I mean, I mean, I'm really sorry. Wait, what are you doing? Sorry. I was just gonna take the hole in the helmet and say, we're stuck in here until we figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to. You guys are trapped in here, you don't know how to get out. There's no windows, that one door you came in is gone. So let's go, um, well, so here's the, here's the thing, is that if the skin's gone, then whatever took it clearly is the other way, and if that way we just went in, there's also danger, well, it seems like we're going into danger either way, so I say we just meet it fucking ass first. Let's do it. What if we go to the danger we know, and we go to the skin one? I don't have skin. I'll just go first on that one. I feel better okay. about that one. Good idea. Okay, so that danger has to be this way then, the way we didn't go. So you go first, this way, we do it all again, bam, boom, bop, we win. I go to walk first and then I go, actually, <laughs> please, protect me. I'm just a baby. Hey, I said sorry. I didn't. Okay, so same corridor. The left door. Right corridor. What, the, whatever the opposite of, of what yeah, we, we just did. Yeah, we went left corridor first, we're going right now. Okay, so you just you just walked across the second floor common area, got into the right door. Okay, but you're giving me your sword. No. -uh. I'm not walking without a light source, Chip. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah, I will, I will lead this, this charge. The opposite of where I normally am, in the back line. Why the fuck are we letting you do that? Yeah, I don't know, it's just being petty. It's a good, yeah, good good place for that. <laughs> Same situation, looks like it goes down a bit and turns. Are you doing anything as you walk down the corridor, or just walking down it? I'm listening really fucking hard, I'm listening so hard right now. Does it turn right or left? Sorry, because I am like mapping it as we're going. This one would turn left. Gillian pulls out a little notebook and he's like doing little drawings. Just listening, Jay? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna be listening. Well, I mean, I'll be percepting, perceiving. I'll also perceive. Are you sure? Why do you say it like that? Yeah. No, I mean, why do you like... say that like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a crazy one! Yeah, I'm gonna look around. Alright. Both of you can roll perception. Look on the floor for any skin, you know? 29. Uh, 15. You're not seeing anything, but a few steps into the corridor, Chip, you're already starting to hear that uh, ringing once more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, we gotta just pick a fucking- We gotta go, one of them. We gotta pick your poison dog. Maybe we can go stealthily, cause I'm getting the ringing in my head. Yeah, okay, so we just gotta be really quiet. They react to noise so far, so... Do they? I mean, that's what's happened historically. Oh, are you talking to God? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's just like a voice in my head that sometimes asks me questions. It's like a- it's like a doubter. That's weird. Is that your salmon <laughs> juice? What? No, that's probably something else. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh god. <laughs> okay. They're wet. How fresh are those bass? <laughs> you think he just- Are they alive? There's not even any fish in this ocean. Like, they're all dead. Look, let's just sneak, okay? It's a horrible way to die. I hope I never die like that. Dude, I hope you don't die there. Wait, I already died in like a worse way. Yeah, but like you're cooler. not on somebody's foot. You're, yeah, you're not on like, somebody's foot though, so- At least I don't smell like a foot. I just smell like- Yeah. They're not actually bass, you know that, right? What are they? They're just like slippers, but I just keep them wet. Somehow, so much work. <laughs> we try and sneak. 
can I put the shoes from Jay on to Gillian? Like, can, I, like, can, I, like, can I like do this so that it happens? No, no, no. I'm, listen, man. Listen, man. As soon as something jumps out at me and I have the opportunity to get these shoes knocked off, you know I'm going to take it. But until then, I, they have to stay on. <laughs> the bit shoes. Oh, the bit shoes. The bit shoes. The bit shoes had to stay on. I canonize them in like a, a heated moment and I can't uncanonize them as easily. <laughs> I get it. So. I get it. Are you guys actually trying to walk stealthy? Yes, please. God. Sorry, okay, so roll south. Roll south. Thank God. I had a 20. It's my destiny to walk super stealthy right now. I got a nine. Rolling with the Riptide dice. Holy shit! What? 29. No! Oh! You guys begin to creep down this hallway. Uh, this is a very narrow corridor. And once you round the corner, uh, you can see at the other side, there is a, a, a sort of like an iron door that you can push open and it leads somewhere else, but it's too dark and you can only see so far ahead of you with the light that you have right now. And you begin to continue creeping forward, step, step, and then halfway down the corridor, your third step, you hear, and you look down and you see Jay under your foot, an invisible glyph. That appears. <laughs> we stepped over the land by over. And then suddenly, <laughs> this burst of fire uh, ignites the entire hallway as you're all trapped in this wall of fire. Uh, go ahead and make dexterity saves, everybody. Oh, shit! Oh, jolly good. As you walked onto a trap. Uh, 23, because Gillian's close enough. 13, because I am Gillian. Uh, 29. Chip, you'll take half. I take none. Got it. So. Rogue takes none. Every, the other two of you take 37 points of fire damage. Ouchie. Really? I didn't I didn't pass? Damn. No, you did not. I would also like to take none. I will use absorb elements to absorb elements, and the element is fire, and I absorb it. You guys uh, are immediately caught in this flame as you step on a trap, and I'm assuming you're running towards the door, or you're running back towards the second floor common area. Which one are you going to get out of the flames? We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta, we, no, we're not running we through doing this again. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so you run forward. You burst through the fucking door and you come into uh, more darkness before you get a chance to even like uh, perceive your surroundings the door shuts behind you and as soon as it does you hear another one of these and you hear doo -doo slamming on the door on the door from where we came from yes just now oh the door slamming like somebody's gonna burst through it any second is there is there like any any handles on the door the handles on the door the there's a, the door? like a normal like push bar almost on this iron door how the fuck do you jam a pull? oh guys it's a pull door we'll be fine barricade i'd like to barricade, barricade. yeah barricade there's usually like a barricade nearby like if there's those handles when you look around you see that you're kind of like in this grid of almost cubicles but they're just desks like you're 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 in this room that contains a bunch of many offices. So what would you want to barricade? How do you want to do it? Offices? There's desks. Yeah, there are desks. Desks. Mm -hmm. What if we need to get whatever? Yeah, fuck it. Well, if we go back, we can move the desks. It's on this side. <laughs> I have an unbreakable arrow that can I just like put it through the, the handles? Just yeah, break. you could. Uh, okay. Slide of hands to roll against this creature's opposition. Or oh, whatever fuck this my is. life. Okay. It's your destiny to put that arrow in that hole. Thank you for that destiny. Uh, 16. In a flash, right before that third, you and the arrow doesn't move. The door won't open, and then the banging stops. The flames crackle behind the door. So, whatever that is, fire clearly doesn't bother so it. So what, the, the the danger was on the other side of the door and not this side? That's crazy. Uh, hey, let's check out these offices. Yeah, these <laughs> offices. Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, yeah, what, what's in here that seems out of the, out of the ordinary? It just looks like a bunch of abandoned desks uh, and, and neat chairs. There is um, some dividers between each desk, almost kind of like in a circular fashion. This room is uh, uh, circular and... The like the ceiling isn't very tall. There are no other entrances or exits from here. It just looks to be like almost like a work, uh, like a hub for work. I'd like to definitely like search through stuff, to see if we can find like a key. Roll investigation. Whoever's looking around right now, you can roll investigation okay. if you're looking for something. I'll look around as well. I will too. I'd like to get an idea of of the creatures that are here. We just haven't seen them. They're unseen. Um. That's a 17. I was gonna look for the same thing. I was I, I was gonna give a, I was just gonna help action chip if I could just give him advantage on it. Sure. 18. 10. I'm not rolling good today. What are you uh, feeling in the moment as you start to look around a little shakily as Chip looks in a different corner of the room, um, knowing that this place is terrifying, but it's supposed to be a government stronghold. And 
there are things lurking within it. Fuck shit shit. Was this the bad call? Was this just like did I make the wrong call again? Like is this am I just do it am I just making bad decisions one after another? Maybe I should just shut the fuck up once in a while. Uh you're mulling over these uh, doubt this doubt and chip you see uh, almost immediately there is an you know why it catches your eye because you see a skeleton sitting in a desk chair he just like me on the far <laughs> side of the room and there seems to be uh like a, a lab coat that is really clean hung up on some sort of coat rack near the desk and um a file cabinet underneath the main part of the desk and with your investigation of 18 you know that this file cabinet has stuff in it <laughs> it's like to the brim. But there's papers. There's papers sticking out. <laughs> like you can tell. You can tell. Okay. You can tell by the way that it like had. There's like marks. It's been pulled in and out. I got you. Hey, wait a minute. Look at that over there. There's a skeleton, and next to it, a file cabinet. Now, Gillian, if I'm correct about this, that file cabinet has stuff in it. <laughs> I run over to the skeleton to pick it up, and I say, "Be gone!" and I throw it against the wall as hard as I can. Okay, the skeleton fucking shatters. Gillian, why would you do that to the skeleton? Well, um, skeleton. I mean, it's one of those situations. I feel like where it was going to suddenly animate and jump out at us. So just no, trying to fair. get ahead of the curve. You know no. those skeletons, Chip. You know how those skeletons are. Yeah, Gillian, a skeleton would never <laughs> jump out at you. I will reiterate how. Odd it is that despite this place supposedly being abandoned, this one file cabinet has been used recently. Can I ask a crazy question? Yeah. The skeleton. I pick up one of its bones, say the head bone, and I look at it. Does it look like it's been here for 10 years, or is it a clean skeleton? Carbon dating. Wait, hold on, what's your passive investigation? Bad. But I look with my eyes, because I feel like I can tell the difference between a 10-year-old skeleton and a two-day skeleton. Uh, just with looking at it and touching it, this doesn't even feel like real bones. What? Uh, this feels like, um, artificial. What the fuck? Who would do that? Wait, 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 Um, uh, wait, wait, what? Okay, I say heads up, and I throw the skull at Jay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to catch it! Audio listeners, he just got hit in the head. I'm in a different part of the room, away from the light source. You say heads up, I poke my head up and... <laughs> probably just get nailed. Jay's sitting there, like, just rummaging through different, like, pieces of uh, tattered and, and very faded pieces of paper. Uh, uh, and whatever she can find and doubting herself completely and gets fucking in there with the skeleton. <laughs> Jay, did you feel that? You feel that, right? Yeah, that hurt. That's not real bones. You take one point of damage, and it is, um, it leaves like a little red mark on your forehead, but the skeleton head, the skull, it just cracks open, and you can tell it's hollowed. Not real bones. There's no brain in here. Is this a fucking <laughs> escape room? <laughs> Wait, that, it felt like we were, wait a sec, I look for cameras. I open the file cabinet. Okay, you just open it? What, wait, 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 You said it, you fucking said it, dude. Well, I'm at the other side of the room with Jay. Well, I already investigated, I don't know what more I could do. Didn't investigate for anything specific. Look for traps. Uh, no, you know what? I already said oh, it. I already now said you want to look for traps. I already yeah, said come it. On, come on, I already come said on. it. That's, that's you bullshit. Know that's bullshit. That's you bullshit. know that's bullshit. Oh, you know that's bullshit. You know it's bullshit. Nah. We all know it's bullshit. Just go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw. Do I get the gilly silly? No, I'm I'm over with Jay. Dude, I hope you get hit in the head with a fake skull. <laughs> uh, I got a seven. You open this this uh, one of the drawers of the filing cabinet. There's a sudden, loud, painful ringing throughout the entire room. You all hear it. Oh, that's really bad. That that's good. really bad, I said! But you're like skeleton, you're made of bones. You can, No one can see that because he wears his bandana, but you feel your bones splinter. <laughs> just from the shockwave of sound. You take uh, 23 points of thunder damage. But it's open now, and it, or is it still ringing? Oh, it's open. It lasts for a good 10 seconds before it stops. Okay. And at the same time, the fire behind the door begins to dim down. Is the arrow still in the door? Arrow still behind the door. After that loud sound, you guys sort of stand still for a second and you do hear another one of these like far distant noises. <laughs> there, I scared it off with my, in, with my superior alpha cry. Thanks, Gillian, you're doing so yeah. awesome. <laughs> You did it. Sometimes I just say shit. Gillian, I think next time it happens, you need to rip off like your your shirt and and howl at the moon. 
Okay. What's in the filing cabinet? What's in the filing cabinet? Yeah, that's it, what we want to know. <laughs> After that intense noise, you look into the filing cabinet and you see that there are like folders that aren't um, worn by time or anything like that. And on top of them is this like round gym that is clearly arcane and it looks like you can tell that it would fit into one of the slots uh, like a oh. key. Oh, cool. This one is glowing kind of like a dull gold. Somebody's fucking with us. Yeah, something's fucked up here. Um, well, I mean, that was a fake, fake bones skeleton. Fake bones? We feel like someone's watching us. It's like a skeleton model, guys. Like an anatomy model. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh. Dude. Oh. oh. That's not what happened for me. I should have just left it. But then, like, <laughs> that was key oh, information. That's key I thought information. someone like recreated a skeleton and all of this was fake. I also thought all of this was fake. I'm still operating on that knowledge. We're like stupid as fuck. I love how paranoid you guys are getting. You said fake skeleton and also files that are like brand spanking new. Okay, Gillian finds some tinfoil in the room and makes a hat out of it and puts it on. This should prevent the navy radiation from getting into my brain. I'll give the gem to Jay. Thank you. Um, good, good find chip. I'll, uh, I'll look through the files as well. Gillian, it says in these files that the navy is actually uh, putting microchips in the water. What? I didn't even say, guys, I didn't even say that, he's making this shit up. If you drink the water, <laughs> or have any kind of water, they can see you. I I- And I, hear I, you? I, and, I need to and dry! feel you! I need to dry! I need to dry! <laughs> uh, in the files, these are basically like, just reports of different experiments. There seems to be a laboratory, uh, somewhere in the stronghold. I love when there's a laboratory in the scary dungeon. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean, scary, scary dungeon- I'm starting to get like, a little concerned that maybe this is like, a failed artificial leviathan project or something. I think this is an escape room, and we need to escape the room. Hey, <laughs> escape room person, I need to go to the bathroom really bad. Can we Can get you? a hint? <laughs> Let's go back to the center of level two then, and use this. Yeah, um, well before we do that, we know a monster is on the other side of the doors. We're just going straight upstairs, right? Like, we're not even gonna fuck with the other side? Okay, alright. But, and follow my logic here. That door that we're going to go through is locked, which means the monster is not on the other side of it. However, where we've been is a very small area, and if the monster was in a place right now, he would probably be over where we were going. I have, I have no problem with this personally. I will go over there, I will hit the monster until it explodes. Um, actually, that sounds great. I would like to ask if, in these files anywhere, I could discern a location for this laboratory, like if it... Uh, details anything like uh, something took place on level three or anything anything of that nature. These files specifically are from the uh, alchemical laboratory on the third floor. On the third floor. And we are on the second? Yes, we're on the second. All right. Well, if that's where the alchemy is happening and the weirdness is happening, let's check it out. And does it say what the creature is? They're, they're like, these are just like minor uh, log reports on... Um, different potions and, and, and poisons and stuff. It's very, like, artificer and alchemist stuff. It's nothing that catches your eye as, like, relevant to what you already know. It's artificer stuff. I give it to Jay, if she can do anything with that, do anything with the info. Can I look over it and see if I glean anything, like, important? What you get, Jay, is that this particular laboratory, uh, what they've been working on or what these logs are reporting on are, like I said before, just uh, uh, different ways to cut weapons or enhanced weapons that the soldiers use. There's different poisons in here, and there is a uh, different kind of like transmutation magics, but without using uh, spells. I'll just wait by the door for when they're ready to go. So I'm assuming that you guys, um, there's nothing else in these offices that you pick up. It does look deserted, except for that one corner, that one file cabinet. And you listen for a second, wait to see if there's any banging, any steps, and you guys still have your lights out, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll bring a bone. With enough silence, and a plastic bone, you exit back out and make it to the second floor common area. We should test the key, I think, right? Like For one, I will lead, and I will look for any room. <laughs> okay, like, before you go, okay, so just roll an investigation check for this area. Uh, it's 22. And we're going through the, we're don't go, you're look. Wait, we're going we're to going the key the door. door? Yeah, I think so. You can tell that there is, if this door is even trying to be open without the key in place, there is a glyph behind the arcane lock that will trigger with your investigation. So, if you try to open the double doors in any way without the key, there's a glyph behind the arcane lock that will trigger. Oh, okay. Okay, can I, I have the key in my hand, and when we get up to the, the keyhole or whatever, can I do like an arcana check 
to make sure that this like matches. Uh, yeah. Fuck, I'm rolling so shit. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you can you can obviously tell that the shapes fit. This one's kind of like a very circular gym shape that will just fit right into the slot. Uh, but you also notice while you're looking that above these doors, you have the light. You have one of the lights, right? So you use the sword. You see, above this door is like a symbol. And it is a pair of, like, two golden eyes. You didn't, however, catch if there was one on the first floor. Can I do a history check, maybe, and see if that means anything to me? Yeah, you can. You can roll. 13. I was almost... It was cocked to 11, but it showed 9. You know the rank symbols, and this doesn't match the symbols uh, that you would see, like, associated with the captain or a vice admiral or an admiral or etc. I don't know. They were doing alchemy stuff in there so maybe like it's a subsection of the navy i'm gonna open the door the okay so all right just i'm gonna be on guard because that's where the skin was going right was through the door that's where you last saw the triton skin what if i hide before you do that what if we wait 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 wait, wait, wait. do our weapons still light up if we're not holding them uh gillian's would I'm going to say because it works like a flame tongue, you have to be holding, like, have your weapon wielded. Oh, well, yeah, okay. I was letting it happen, but usually, yeah, it has to be the attuned. <laughs> We're going to tell me to throw it in there. I was going to say maybe we could leave your sword in the middle of the floor to light up the entrance, and when it opens up, we are hidden, but we can see that area. But also, I don't know if magical darkness works like that. Oh, to have the light spell. How long has it been since we left, by the way? Like, if I had to estimate right now. Oh, you took damage, so roll your, um... Right. I got a 21. Because Gillian's near. That saves. Okay. Um, you didn't take damage a second time, so yeah. Uh, okay. I'd say it's still up. I don't know if you would know how much longer you have left. We'll say like 30 minutes. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to, unless you speak up with your plan, I'm going to just put the key in the hole. Maybe we're overthinking this. I think you just open it up. Yeah, you slot it in. Uh, there's a low. And then the doors open up and reveal just uh, another ladder that leads up to the third floor stairs stairs <laughs> stairs i'll go up first okay so that if someone gets mauled it's me i'd like to take a swig from my everfall glass smart smart and gain 15 temporary hit points and immunity to being frightened because i feel like whatever we're gonna see <laughs> might frighten me <laughs> guys what could go wrong? And then I cast Death Word on myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong, man? Guys, you gotta stop doing this. I'm gonna start drinking. <laughs> you, you just did. I'm, just, I'm gonna start doing it more. I'll use the helping hands to uh, put jet, uh, Death Word on Jay as well. Thanks. I guess there's no point to put it on me. Huh? Yeah, you're already <laughs> fucking dead, dude. When you're moving up the ladder, one rung after the other, you start climbing up. This one's a bit taller than the last one's. Because when you get halfway up the ladder, you can tell that you're quite high up at this point. There's a big, there's a lot of distance from the second floor to the third floor. Hey, Chip. Uh huh. I'm sorry for calling you a baby. Is it? It just feels like you've been really fighting back on like things I decide lately. What do you mean? I'm not fighting back just, on things you decide. I don't I know. I just don't want to die again. Like more no, die. That's totally understandable. It's just like. I don't know, I, I told you my reasoning to be here, and then you asked me like three more times why I wanted to come here. I just thought that was like a little weird. Took it a little personally, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. Yeah, well, I guess it's just kind of, like we're in a, the death ocean, you know? And I kind of just want to get out of here and do what we gotta do. You know, we kind of like came to save my father figure and now we're doing this. So like maybe I'm a little salty about it and a little terrified that we're gonna die and that we keep just running around and doing other things and we're gonna die. Um, but like I get why you want to come here. I do. It's like, I don't want to help. I'll never have another chance to go into a navy base like this and, and find out information. No, you know, okay. um, I not without you. killing a bunch of navy people like that one time in all part. I feel like now though, <laughs> we we know that this is just as maybe is it uh, more dangerous? I'd say this is very fucked up, and you're totally well within your right. They'd be like scared and, and a little bit like a baby if you wanted to. See, here's the thing is you apologize and you're now <laughs> saying like, it's okay that I'm being a baby, which is still calling me a baby. No, no, no. I'm just like saying in the hypothetical situation that you, you want to be a baby. Like I will understand and accept you for it is what I'm saying. Chip, do you want to be a baby? <laughs> it's, well, no, I, I have no inclination to be a baby. I mean, babies are alive. I'd like to be alive. Gillian, the more you climb up this ladder, the stronger a sense this scent is getting. I'm going to use divine sense. Is there anything within 60 feet? Right outside of where your light ends, 
at the very edge of where you will emerge from this ladder, you get this ping and you hear this low, short snarl. And you get the sense that as soon as you get to the top, it will be there waiting for you. Not trying to alarm anyone, but uh, as soon as we get to the top of this ladder, we'll, we will be mauled by a creature born of darkness itself, uh, capable of returning us into nothing. Sound good? I mean, that's alarming. That's alarming. You're. It is alarming, but there's only one way to go. It's actually not true. There's a lot of other ways, but uh, we're almost there anyway, so... <laughs> 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 You're right, Killian. No way to go but up and forward. Well, I'm kind of sandwiched between you two, so like, fuck it. It's anticipating us. It seems like an ambush predator. So instead, we should ambush it. You see, it's up there. It's waiting for us to show up so that it can attack us. So what if we do something it doesn't expect? What if we move the ladder to the other wall? Like, like, t pick, like, climb, <laughs> hang on. Go, go all the like, way down, move it to the other side. Pick up the, like, the definitely <laughs> stationary ladder bolted in at several points. We yank it out of the wall and then rotate it and move it probably about a foot. Yeah, or like, I don't know, we could Okay, like so not to, not to, not to question your decisions. I don't think we should do that. It's Chip being a baby right now, Jay, I don't Guys, know. Guys, you have to, you have to fucking stop with the baby thing. Wait, wait, wait. Jay, 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 can you do uh -huh. me a huge, can you do me a big flavor right now? Yeah. Do you have that, you have that thing, right, where if you tap it, it makes like a Favorite. sound or something? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, okay, so <laughs> tap this bone. Can you put like a message on this bone, a loud message, and say like some crazy shit that if I was a beast, like, say like, I'm meat, I'm meat, I'm meat. I can do that five times a day easily, so, four times a day. Whenever tapped by a creature, the object emits a recorded message that can be heard up to 10 feet oh, away. Oh, shit! Okay, Jay, make a scream like you're being mauled by a creature actively. Okay. And then I'll throw this in there, and it will attack it because it's some crazy movement thing, and then it'll you'll be screaming out of it, and we can sneak past. Now, the only bad part of this plan is to make it work, you do have to now scream. Yeah, that's like a little bit concerning that I had to do that now. And It's waiting could... for us anyway, and it knows we're here. If it was going to attack us, it would already do it, though. Okay, just give me the bone. it knows we're here. Okay, here's the bone. Okay, it's 7.30 at night. I live in an apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> okay, that was good. As soon as you do that, um... This happens, and both flames on both the flames on on ship's swords dissipate, and so does the glow of Destiny's blade. You're all immediately in darkness. Yeah, I think that was that was a, that was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. We shouldn't have done that. Uh, Gillian, roll a deck save with disadvantage because you're on a ladder. <laughs> you already knew I was gonna fail. I should have actually known that was like a bad idea. Why am I listening to the people? <laughs> <laughs> like, I already knew it was like reacting to sound. So like, I am a self sabotager. Yeah, it's you know we do. I, I just wanted to scream like a freak. What's a five gonna get? Me? <laughs> <laughs> you're up you're above us you start screaming uh very loud into this little device and right before all the lights go out you see something wrap around gillian's neck and his screaming fades oh. upwards Jay, I think it was! <laughs> and you're all in the darkness and gillian's gone why did it take him and not me i was the one screaming <laughs> he's here shit gail uh chip you gotta follow that noise. Did it take him? Yeah, it took him. He's right above you. you. Don't. I can't say anything. You can't hear him at all anymore, and the sound stopped. <laughs> Gillian's fucking dead. He actually just cast a death word. I just want to put that out there. That's true. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's why I kind of just freaked out. I took Gil. Jay, God, why? I don't know. You could have told me not to. We had a lot of time to interject and be like, "That's a bad idea." I knew I could have told you not to. I don't know. I just don't want to take blame for this. I have someone on my mind right now. It's ship, and it's weighing down. I'm making bad decisions, and I, it's like a, it's like a never-ending cycle. I was a baby, okay? I was a baby. <laughs> I was okay. being a baby. It's and okay. you know what? That was the right decision to be a baby. Maybe it was. And you made me feel bad about it. Well, yeah, because, you know, being a baby isn't going to help us right now because because we're stuck in here. The iron door is shut. 
behind us. Being a baby is what made us back up. You know, my baby brain, you know what it told me? Leave. There was danger on both sides, no matter which way we went. And there was danger on the side of the door that we were already on. Guys, I died like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> 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 no, it's, no, it's okay. Gillian cast a death ward. He's not dead yet. Maybe. Yes, yeah, so he's got death ward. You've got death ward, and I'm. Uh, and you're undead. You're undead. You're fine. I climb up the <laughs> ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you're still in the darkness. When you get up on the top of the ladder, both of you, do you reignite your swords or not? Yeah, probably. Because you're both blind without it. Hot mode. You do hot mode. You don't hear anything. You don't see anything. But you do see. Triton flesh. Shit! <laughs> I got to turn in his skin! I think he's he got skin. skin. I think he's he got skin. skin. His skin. His skin. <laughs> his skin. <laughs> okay, well, the problem is that we don't know if that's, like, the other Triton flesh or, like, Gillian Triton flesh. He's somewhere really naked right now. Like, really naked. Do you know if he can live without skin? No, I don't think most people can live without skin. Well, Ship, just because... Triton skin? Maybe he just sheds. No, I don't think Tritons do that. That's a snake thing. That's, like, reptiles. You've never seen Gillian shed before. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Everything is fine. Stop saying that. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I, I just pat, I panic. I'm and that's so the first, serious. I'm so fucking serious. That's the first thing that comes out of my mouth when I, when I start panicking just, and freaking okay, out. Okay. okay I'm being okay, a baby. Okay. I'm being a baby. Next I'm sorry. Time, <laughs> next time, be conscious. Be conscious of you saying that. Because okay. every time you say it, the opposite happens. Everything is not fine. Everything sucks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for saying that. You see three more double doors. One across from this where you've just emerged from the ladder. And then two to the left and right. But they're all double doors and all steel. They're all closed. The one on the cross does have another dull red glow. You notice there's another symbol above that door. What is it? Same thing? Um, It's not the same symbol. This one is a pair of wings. Can I look at the skin and see if it's Gilly skin? I wanted to... See if it went in the same direction that I heard Gillian get dragged off to. That's kind of like tracking. So how about you roll survival? Sure, I'll do that. I got 22 on my survival. What do I roll? Oh, yeah. You can do investigation or perception. Uh, 17. Jim? This is 100% Gillian skin. <laughs> Jay, the scariest thing is that it didn't leave a trail. I had armor on! <laughs> I just got turned into skin! Oh, that's fucked. Oh, fuck. So, like, I can't, totally I can't good. track that's it. All right, but that's Gilly skin. What? That's his skin. No, that's just like the random <laughs> Triton that was on the stairs down down there. That's no, his no. skin. It's not Gillian's skin. That is Gillian's skin. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. He's, we're just gonna follow the skin because that might no, be where Gillian I is. I don't no, know. No, would I lie in this just, moment? You're just being you're just being mean to me. Maybe I don't know. I just, I'm <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like hey, I'm like Jay, freaking I'm hey, freaking hey, out. Look at I, me. Look at yeah. me. I'm a mean guy. I say mean things. This is not one of the times. Okay, I just... That's a gilly skin. I mean, like, maybe you could have, like... <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh -oh. Hope he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Chip just, like, looks down at the floor. Uh -huh. Which way is the laboratory? I'd like to look which way the lab goes. The door across from where you just came from is the another locked door with the same arcane lock on the side. Uh, it's a different shape. This one's more a bit more rhombus sized key, kind of like a diamond or a spade. Above them, they're actually labeled. One says alchemical laboratory, and the other one is arcane laboratory. Alchemical. I think alchemical is maybe the idea too. There are two of you, so if you want to. Yeah, so if we want to split up, yeah, you know, it's like, what's the worst thing no. that happen, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we stay together. I don't have light source, so I'm relying on Chip completely right now. Uh, you go to the alchemical lab. Um, there doesn't look to be like a handle, uh, but there are like um, inserts where something, maybe like a card or something could go into that would unlock and open this door. So it's not an arcane lock, but it is some sort of lock and it is locked on the alchemical door. Can I check for traps? You can roll investigation. I want to see if it's like in the same manner that the other one downstairs, natural one. I can't see too good right now, Chip. This looks like something you could lock it though. Um, but I, I'm worried that if we try to lockpick this, that maybe, maybe it'll explode or make a really loud sound. I can't see any traps right now, Chip. So if we want to take that risk, we can do it. What if Chiba look? I don't see why Chiba you couldn't. Look. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look, okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, just gonna take look. a little peeky. I'm gonna look. Yeah. God, I'm gonna look. 17. With the 17, um, it's hard to tell if it's trapped. 
But like I said, looks like you can be locked in. Chip, are you gambling, man? Our friend's skin. His skin is on the floor. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's on the floor. Roll the fucking dice, dude. I don't okay. know. Do you want to do it or should I? I mean, <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, fuck it. I go ahead and roll slide of hand as long pick the laboratory door. Did you think this is how you would die? No, 22. Because I feel like we've been on so many adventures. And a lot of the times I'm like, dude, no way I could die. Like, I'm kind of that guy. And right now, I don't, I don't really feel like that. <laughs> you know, I, I I honestly thought I was going to maybe die in, like, the stomach of the Electrotron. Or, or like, maybe, maybe my dad would, like, steal me and put me in jail for the rest of my life. Well, that's traumatic. It takes a minute, but you hear a click. And then the doors slowly just slide open and reveal sort of, it's still really dark. You can only see with the flames. Um, but you are able to enter this alchemical laboratory. And when you do, you see there's all sorts of like vials, flasks, beakers, uh, burners, whatever. Any kind of equipment that an alchemist uh, could use will fill this space. Every tool uh, would be here. Um, there are also like blackboards, whiteboards, whatever, uh, with writings, equations. Although it's kind of like, um, uh, they're like runes. It's a mixture between math and runes. What's immediately outputting when you're looking around this place is very clean it's very well organized and it's very obviously attended to i thought it'd be abandoned why is it not abandoned see i always kind of figured i'd die with you like screaming my name chip and i do something like super heroic you know as like a juxtaposition from like how i was when you met me i mean you that know? would be a good juxtaposition um, i was kind of like it's not too late thing Maybe, no, no. maybe something can happen and... Nope. We're going to get put in a vat. We're going to get put in a vat. There's all these chemicals are going to get dumped on me. And I'm going to turn to goo. Yeah, we're going to end up in the test tube. You're right. I'm going to turn to goo. Gillian is Goolian, and we're going to die. All here. Okay, well, maybe maybe Today. this this room will have, like, some... Is it is it files in the room? It's files in the room? Yeah, I want to see if I can figure out what the fuck this creature is. Both of you roll investigation. Yeah, I would close the door behind us and seal it, by the way, and, like, lock it with the... Oh, natural mother fucking 20. 16. Both of you are kind of looking for the same thing. You're looking for information and stuff. Um, anything out of the ordinary, what's going on here. You see that there are Petri dishes that have samples of that black ichor that make up these hollowed, these abominations, these mutated creatures. Uh, and that black acre sort of moves very similar to like the symbiote. There is a ton of writing on like the whiteboards, but there is some papers around. There's also file folders that have papers missing and books that have papers ripped out. Whoever is the smartest and you can roll with advantage if the other is helping, roll with uh, an intelligence check to see if you can make out what they're doing. With advantage? Yep, because Chip would be helping. That's 18. Oh, it looks like they're definitely studying the creatures of the Black Sea here. And this laboratory specifically. And not only that, seeing how they can use it. They're fucking researching goddamn biological warfare in here. I, that makes sense. They're taking the ooze, the goo, the black goo. Mm -hmm. and they're trying to make a weapon with it. Can you see what kind of weapon? I think we might be dealing with it right now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, well. What do we know about the weapon so far? It takes skin. Or it takes skin everything off. but the skin, actually, right? Uh, it permeates uh, insane magical darkness mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. everywhere. Is it stankin'? Do you smell it? Does it smell like anything? Does it smell? Since you've gotten to the Black Sea, everywhere is like a very strong, pungent smell. It smells the same as everywhere else. Now, with your natural 20, you see very small hints of glimmers on the floor in the corner where there is like a, like a cabinet filled with uh, some of this alchemical equipment. Oh, and it clearly moves and is connected to some sort of mechanism to reveal this like secret entryway. Yeah, we should totally go through the secret door. You don't see a secret door and walk away from it. With the natural 20, you can already tell how it opens and you just twist one of the small knobs that open the cabinets to the right and you hear a click. The whole case just slides to the right and reveals uh, what looks to be like some sort of service or small freight elevator, if that's what they're called, that only goes down because you can tell there's like a roof. There's no way up. Okay, can we see any like scuffs on the floor? It's a freight elevator, right? So they're probably moving something heavy. What 
Is there any like marks for what might be moved? Sorry, I don't. I don't actually know what to call it. I don't think it's like a freight elevator. It's mm. just more like of a like a just, really just um, elevator. simple elevator that goes down. What's it powered by? You have to like hit a switch for it to go down, and then pull the lever back down for it to go up. So probably some sort of like weight distribution or something. Okay, so it's gear based. You're able to get down there even without power, and it's very dark in here. All the doors are shut. It's safe to assume this is some sort of like lockdown. We go down. Jay, you still you still do feel confident and strong that the information you seek is is going to be the highest level yeah i don't think we should go down yet so you think think this is a way out i think it might be a way out or at least it leads to a way out i I guess i just kind of figure you know like secret room in the laboratory that would be like where the scientist guy is and it's like an elevator that goes down though so if i was confident in a pulley system able to bring us back up with no power then i would say hell yeah let's go but (laughs) i'm not Totally confident in that. Yeah, no, that's super fair. It's super fair. No key though here, so we might have to search the other side. I love that. I love that that's yeah. you know, the way that this is. Okay, so we're going to leave um, the door open here though. If we need to run, we run here. In the room, you see there's a bunch of chemicals and stuff and things and concoctions. Um, if they're looking at the black goo, is there anything like a like maybe a weakness, something that it is weak to? Because you guys wrote so well, if that information was in here... Uh, it was removed, and it's not in the laboratory at the moment. Mm, okay. I think this place was abandoned recently, then. That helmet downstairs, it was a high-ranking officer. So maybe they came here to to sweep it out? Something happened to one of them? The Triton, maybe? Maybe. They were doing experiments, trying to create a weapon. They made one, and only some of them made it out alive. Last plan went really bad, so I want to... I'm going to let you tell me if this is a really bad idea. But I have this bone. We have this elevator. So what if I threw the bone on the elevator and activated it and we sent the monster downstairs? I think if we want to distract the monster, we can do it without getting rid of our only way out. Okay. Right? I mean, there's a part of me that wants to believe that wasn't Gillian's skin on the ground. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm thinking we just go try and find him, or at least the meat part of him. Well, Gillian definitely didn't go down the elevator, because it would have been open when we got here. What do you guys want to do? The other laboratory? Other laboratory. Other laboratory. When you uh, exit this laboratory and leave behind the small elevator leading down, you once again hear, like, not creature sounds, but almost, like, really hollowed muffled screaming shouts really really far down on a lower lower level but it doesn't sound like gillian just sounds like shouts and it sounds so muffled uh, uh you almost question if you even heard it at all you also notice immediately at the same time that these that the arcane laboratory doors are not locked and they're easily opened you heard that right chip what the, the screaming and the, the shouting? Yeah, so I'm thinking yeah, either no, no, never, somebody never, else never. just just entered in behind us, and maybe we just gotta keep going up faster. <laughs> I'm assuming you open the arcane laboratory doors. Once you do, the first thing you see, um, with this very limited sight from the flames, is gar- like crazy gargantuan bones from a creature, and these bones are obviously real. Do you want to go in and inspect now? Or is there something else you'd like to do? Look for traps. I'm going to do the same thing where one of you are going to investigate and the other will help. So just pick whoever wants to do that. I will investigate. First one is a natural 20. <laughs> no fucking way. This fucking die has been so good for me. All I've rolled on this die so far today is 16, 20, and 17. <laughs> Buy it now. Get it's the fucking out. Riptide <laughs> dice. <laughs> it's not even out yet. It's not, it doesn't even exist, but get it when it's out. Okay, so that, that for investigation... 27. There are numerous like magical machines, not sure what they do, um, but you can tell that they're trapped. If you use them without deactivating the glyphs, um, honestly with a natural 20, you can definitely tell that these gargantuan bones make up what, like they're from a leviathan Mm. here in this laboratory. Oh shit. You find a drawer that is trapped by another one of these glyphs. Uh, and you can just sense the like arcane key within it, but it has to be disarmed. Uh, and it's an arcane trap, 
so it has to be dispelled. I relay all of this to Jay. Uh, I once again I will, uh, of course, put the unbreaking arrow in the door behind me as we as we enter this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. You haven't heard it in a while. It's like it reacts to noise, and we screamed really loudly. That drawer there. Yeah. It's trapped. Um, I can try to maybe disarm it, but. I've never done this before. I've only... Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead and disarm that. I'm going to walk to the other side of the room. It's a magical one, so you can't do it with, like, tools. We can trigger the trap. We can trigger oh. the trap. Oh, 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 oh. Jay, I have an idea. What if I take a rope, tie it around it, we go to the other side of the room, we cover our ears, and we pull. It's a button. Fuck. A button on the underside of something? On the other side of the counter, next to the door. What if I poke it with this 10-foot pole that I have? Oh, yeah, you could certainly try it. Would you like to try that? And pull it out. I pull out my 10-foot pole. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, um, I'm gonna rate together a series of trails and funny things for a ball to roll down to eventually cause the stick to flip up and hit the button in a series of, uh, what are they called? You're making a Rube Goldberg machine. A Rube Goldberg machine, that's it, yeah. I have a pole, I have a 10 foot pole. That's not, that's not far enough. Let's be honest with ourselves, Chip. So our friend has lost his skin, and you're going to build a contraption. How long is that gonna take? How long is that gonna take? I mean, if you could do it, like, instantly, yeah, but I feel like it's gonna take you a while. Pretty quick. To set up a series of intricate pulleys and balls rolling? Yeah. That's not gonna happen very quickly. <laughs> Fine, use a ten-foot stick, whatever, man. Ten-foot pole! I pull out my ten-foot pole. I get farther away. <laughs> um, and I cover my ears. I poke right, it and I, I close my doing. eyes. One on the shoulder, one with the finger. Okay. Mm -hmm. You use the pole to hit the button, and then you hear... <laughs> as the drawer just, uh, opens up. And you feel sort of a, like, vibration, like something ring through, like a spell ring through the pole. But it doesn't transfer onto your fucking bones, because mm. you're a skeleton. And that's it. It's open. Oh. Did it do it? Yeah, it's open. I open my eyes, I look. And the, in this small little drawer, you see that there's another key. It's the one you're looking for. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Do you grab the key? I'll grab the key. Uh, make a dead nice key. <laughs> <laughs> These leviathan bones. Yeah. What about them? Could I take some? Uh, they are massive. Like just a little, like a thing uh, hanging off. Yeah, I don't mind if you snap something off. Um, Bet. I guess you'd also notice that more petri dishes and sort of like weird arcane scales uh, and just different tools that you don't, you're not really familiar with at all are around here. And you see more of this like Triton skin. Oh my God! There's so much Gillian around here. Why is it always Triton? There's more samples from more like races as well. This is fucked. Okay. So now you guys are taking this key to the double doors. Going straight to it. I shove it in right. as long as it looks like it will fit. <laughs> Before you put the key in, do you remember the symbol I told you that was above the door? Double wings. So as you're going to put the key in, I'm going to need both of you to deafen. Turn your cameras off. As uh, I make the switch to Gillian, who needs to drop his HP to one. Ah! Good luck, man. You don't have armor equipped. I should take it off. Uh, I would say so, yeah. All right. <laughs> 11 AC, negative two initiative, one HP, negative two stealth. Let's do Holy it. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fucking do it, dude. Last thing you remember, uh, you were screaming along with Jay, uh, and then you felt something tightly and slipperily. Uh, sip, like, it's very, it was very slippery and wet, and it was tight around your neck. It pulled you up with such great force that uh, it almost feel like your fucking head caved in onto your vision as things went black, and then you felt your fucking death ward uh, kick in right then. And now you're starting to wake up and squinting through like really blurry vision, and you feel this pain. You feel something uh, stabbed, like a hook stabbed through both of your hands that are hanging above you right now. As you are, like, your hands are both skewered onto this hook. And you are dangling above the ground. Uh, you can feel yourself dangle. And it's still completely dark in here, so you can barely see anything with dark vision. Um, but it's not the kind of darkness that is preventing you from seeing entirely. Like, you're not entirely blind. And, like, within five, ten feet in front of you, you just see, like, little silhouettes of more skeletons and bodies dangling what all around you. Fuck? Like, just sort of swaying. And you hear movement somewhere in this chamber. You hear more steps. Oh, fuck. And then you hear a language you understand. Kue? Find intruders. Kill. Make more soldiers. What do you do? Is it common or is it primordial? 
primordial. What the fuck? I just see silhouettes, right? I can't make out what they are or anything. Uh, go ahead and roll perception as your vision begins to clear up. Total of nine. It's hard to make out details, but you can tell that you are on some kind of chain and hook. Okay. So when you swing yourself around, you can see the figure behind you that's dangling. It's not a skeleton. Are they alive? With a nine, it's really, really hard to tell. <sighs> okay. Whatever that thing is, somewhere nearby right now. But you can kind of hear <laughs> walking further away. I'm going to reach up with my foot and, like, poke the body. You begin to hear, like, very shallow but labored breathing. You hear them say, You abandon us. You abandon us. You abandon us. I, I just got hit. Oh, I need a triton. I'll tell you if you're able to get closer. Yeah, so... Can I see the ground from here? With your perception, I'm gonna say it just feels like darkness. You're not sure how high up you are. In that case, if I can't see the ground, because I can only misty step to where I can see, I am going to misty step to the edge of wherever I can see down, and then get ready for the tightest quietest squat stealth landing of all time. <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll stealth. It is my destiny to absorb all of this impact with my knees. That's a nine. <laughs> a nine? I rolled a five on stealth and I added a four to it. You miss these step. And the second you land on some sort of ground, not only does your landing bump into more bodies and skeletons dangling, so you're immediately uh, you feel the pain of how much skin and muscu muscular tissue has been like cut off from your body. Oh! Uh, you land. You see the holes in your hands as well. That pain you keep it in because you're uh, fucking an, at night, right? So you don't whimper. But the sound of the movement still makes a lot of sound. And you bump up against some iron bars. You kind of get this. Um, visual just from your like grabbing and perception that you're in some sort of hallway on both sides are cells and on the ceiling are dangling bodies oh my god jesus fuck the one that was next to you that was doing that whispering does look like triton still still with me got yeah. him oh all right i'm gonna start walking towards I guess down the hallway until I get an idea of where the creatures in the room are. So I'm going to be listening just to see like where it sounds like the footsteps are coming from. Do you still have divine sense up as well? Um, I will use it right now. Like alien isolation radar. <laughs> With Divine Sense, those steps, that movement from whatever that was that brought you down here, that killed you because you died, um, walked away and is no longer here. You do still smell something fiendish ahead in one of the cells, and you hear a growling, almost like a tiger. That seems like something that would bark at me if I walk by it. Um, I'm going to look at my spells. God, why didn't I take invisibility? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I take it? What was I thinking? There'll never be a time where you'll need to sneak, Gilly, and it's fine. Let the other two handle it. It'll be great. So you have two directions uh, while you're thinking about this. You have the farther, or actually, no, it'd technically be like the shortest direction uh, towards the fiendish smell. And you have the farther direction, which is uh, the way you were dangling originally, which is now behind you. And which way was the creature when I heard it? It was behind me? I'm going to say yeah. Yeah. It was, it was walking behind you. Okay, well. The further direction. If the creature's gone, then that means there's an exit that way. And I don't know that there's an exit this way. Tap my chest and cast Death Ward again. Second try is the charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give myself enhance ability I'm gonna, hold, I'm gonna hold concentration on it obviously dexterity <laughs> as he sort of doesn't 
heal over or anything, um, but gets a little more uh, slippery and uh, almost like an, an octopus. Stealth of the puss. And I'm gonna start creeping that way. So where you think the exit is? Yeah, where I last heard the monster, because it right. left. You get yourself together, prop with your spouse, and as you begin to head away, uh, you hear... I can smell you, rat. From back where the fish smell was. Don't be scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm a fish. I'm going to turn around, start walking back towards the fiend smell. Creep up. And uh, this cell is not iron bars. It's complete. Some sort of a class. Secondly, you got that evil stank on you. So watch what's coming out of your little demon mouth. And when you get to the point where you're right up with the glass, uh, it's complete darkness in there. And then you see cat-like eyes just open. And then rush. <clears throat> and then hit the side of glass. And you see black furred with the same face of Kuba Kenta here in the cell. <laughs> and he licks the glass. <laughs> Just gross. Oh, it. yeah, yeah. I bet you like those germs, don't you, you fucking weirdo? What happened to you? I knew you'd come for me. Dude, I killed you so hard. Why'd you set your spawn here? Hmm. Break me out and we can finish what was started. <laughs> Listen, I don't like any of this, but I really don't like you too. So this is actually a big win for me, weirdly. You look different. Did you do something with your hair? Each time I come back, because I won't die before killing my prey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The reincarnation isn't perfect. Well, I'm excited to see what coat you get next time. And I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the distance. <laughs> Careful not to open my cell. Or I'll come for you. Yeah, it's all the way over there, so it doesn't seem like it would be a problem. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 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 you start heading out and trying to find the exit. You walk through what is like a, a steel door uh, at the other side of the chamber. And there was one near the cell on the opposite side. Uh, when you head through this next door, you enter another uh, chamber. Again, it's still really, really dark. And you have about half vision, we'll say, of dark vision. Uh, and in this, this looks to be like you've wandered into not prison cells, but a chamber for another way to put it. It's definitely some sort of torture chamber. You see tools that are sharp. You see chairs that have straps. And there are two other uh, doorways. I assume I don't have a weapon right now, right? Like at all? Mm -mm, not at the moment. God, I wonder what they use this one for. Pick up the most doodad fucking torture instrument and <laughs> hold it like a sword. Um, let's see. Any, many, miny, go. Uh, <laughs> I go to the... Wait, 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 uh, right. Pushing through the right door. Yeah. You... Make it into a, like an interior that has a bit of light, just like a dull glow lamp dangling above. Um, when this happens, it leaks into the torture chamber, you, chamber you've come from. And on the ground, you can see that you're sort of stepping over not just crimson blood, but blood of your own color as well. And you get into this next room and there's just one chair and a machine in the corner connected to the chair. And that machine, uh, you can tell it's magical. What, the scallop? I creep up to the machine. Destiny's Blade, what do you think? I, like, look at the scallop. <laughs> Fucking random book. I oh, right. Um, just, like, <laughs> kind of look around it. I sort of try and read its its magical aura, see if I can tap into the sort of weave around it, What what figure out what it does. On the machine, there is a row of numbers that look like they're tied to dates. Okay. And then there's a clear on and off button, like a green and a red. But if you don't know that, Gullion doesn't know that. They're just bigger buttons that activate and deactivate the machine. <laughs> there's no way he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> green! <laughs> Hit the green button, and this like yes. uh, helmet that's attached to the chair slams down, or just kind of moves down, and immediately like uh, um, there's this... Like it's trying to connect to something that should be sitting in the chair, 
Uh, and then this machine turns on and it powers this arcane magic through these wires onto yeah. the chair. Uh, and when nothing happens, it just goes back and turns back off. Does it look definitely like a torture device? Roll insight. Or investigation. Four. <laughs> uh, it's whatever the only things it is. It does look like those. There are there is that numerous like numbers. Like there is um, we're all Arcana on top of this. One. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea what the fuck is happening in here. Dude, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Dude, oh shit! A power up. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hit the create button. Okay, I check real quick. Okay, Death Ward. All, right, all good. Uh, right out the door. Look, no, no monsters. Okay, all right. Um, there's like a there's like at least a one percent chance that whatever there's no probably gonna like do something sick. Like, give me some sort of awesome new magic power like a like we're in a dungeon so it's probably yeah okay 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 all right three two one go i i hit the green button i run over to the chair and i put, and I put the helmet on to see what happens <laughs> <laughs> dude i roll a fucking three and a one i i'm gillian tizer i absolutely think this is like some sort of awesome device wait maybe this is some way to help chip and jay maybe this is like i'm plugging into the security cameras like five nights at fishies as soon as you put it on you relax your emotions 100% are neutral and calm and yeah. you just sink into the chair and you like almost like your head leans back onto it Dude. and this magic begins to sort of uh, make its way into your mind that Kuba guy needs this god damn maybe he could become Kuba Zenta afterwards in this moment you are uh, officially incapacitated so everything going out <laughs> a sign of your <laughs> consciousness is uh, you are unaware of completely when I ask you, what is Gillian's most recent, most painful memory? What is it? Most recent, huh? Painful memory? Probably waking up on a fucking hook. Or do you mean like emotionally painful? What do you think holds uh, Gillian back sometimes? I think emotionally painful, the tree and learning that the shreds of sort of himself or who he thought he was that he was still hanging on to may have just been put there by people for their own agenda. Yeah. Like, I, I, th I think the most painful thing for him is that realization or, or I guess, like, who am I even supposed to be? And what if I'm not that person? And I think the tree is, like, the, the biggest um, catalyst for that. That memory. But more specifically, the emotions related to that memory, all that negative stuff, all that doubt, uh, is magically suppressed. You immediately feel almost like a, a push to be a more obedient soldier. I don't know how else to word it. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> shit. What have I done? It stops. You wake up and um, yeah, you're changed a little bit. I feel great. <laughs> Thanks, machine. Uh, I feel like I got a lot off my chest. Maybe I'll tell Chip and Jay about this place. I feel a lot better. You hear, as soon as all that fucking... that When you activate this machine, you activate a ton of magical energy in this room, and then oh, you immediately shit. hear when you come back in consciousness. I actually feel worse now! And it starts to get closer. You can hear it coming. What are you doing? Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. The door opens into the room, right? Yes. And there's no other way out from I'm here going, that you can see. I position myself where the door would... Sw so when it swings, I put myself on the side of the door that it would open to. So covering, basically. And I'm going to cast Minor Illusion and put myself in the chair. And then the plan is to run out as soon as it comes in. So as soon as it comes in and lunges for that version of me, I want to, yeah, run out of the fucking door. And uh, as soon as I get out of there, uh, I'll just shove a javelin basically between the 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 ground and and the handle to 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 jam it and then i'll fucking dip uh but yeah that's the plan what do i roll against minor illusion if a creature uses its action to examine the sound or image the creature can determine it's an illusion with a, a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell save dc what's your spell save dc 17. roll initiative we're gonna treat this like a chase zero zero <laughs> zero didn't roll great on initiative but it can't roll zero you hide behind the door? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll cell. 14. Okay, for a second, it's silent. As you set this all up and those steps stop. And then something just apparates in this room. Oh, what a the fuck? A black shadow. Uh, it's 
really hard to make out as you're sort of hiding, but as soon as it does, it uses its it does use its action to inspect the illusion. So it doesn't take the door, it just shows up. But it hasn't noticed you yet. It is your turn because it just used its turn for the illusion. It rolled the stealth just what you needed, like literally just what you needed. So now it's oh, your turn. Fuck. If you're gonna bolt, you gotta do it. So it doesn't have a physical form at all. It, no, it has a physical form, but it has it seems to have this ability to just warp. It's inspecting the uh And it's right where the machine is. Oh, it's not a humanoid. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was key. Because I was totally gonna try to shove its head in there. And it's, honestly, as soon as it gets in here, that light that was from above just completely is gone. Uh, it's complete darkness again, so you have that little bit of vision. Okay, fuck, fuck. Got it. Fuck, fuck, yes. Uh, but you can only kind of see, like, it is very elongated, and it's got, like, it's quadrupedal, uh, and its texture is mixed with that black stringy ichor and some weird fucking sliminess, and its growls are... <laughs> like you've been hearing, and that's right. It's fucking... It, sh it shakes your bones inside. I would like to touch myself and say... No, there's more. Wait. <laughs> okay, just like in my head. It is my destiny to dip. <laughs> um, and just as quietly as I can, go to the door, take my little two wet, bloody fingers, peel open the door, and just slip on through, and then take my two little fingers on the other doorknob and slowly close it and slowly place it back in place, and then sprint it full speed. <laughs> <laughs> Are we clear? Actually, you know what? Just say roll one last stealth for your movement and for shutting the door. Here we go! I rolled a 17 and an 18 plus a d4 is a 4. That's a Gillian 20 on a stealth check. <laughs> oh my that is impossible. Okay, that is you impossible. Start fucking sprinting. Um, and you head for the other door that was in the torture chamber, and in front of you, you start to see, like, uh, like a spiral staircase, almost, that leads up somewhere, and you start running up that. Now, is where we're gonna cut back over. I'm sure everything's fine with Gillian. I mean, like, it was just his skin. Like yeah, now that you say it, I feel like everything is fine. <laughs> you guys have just entered, uh, this last key. You walk through the door that has the double wings above it, and there's another, um, this time, instead of a ladder, it's more of, like, a spiral staircase that sort of you know oh, staircase shit. that goes up but it's around a column a ladder <laughs> <laughs> you begin to head up and when you get to the top you emerge into a re like a really wide hallway you can't quite see what's at the end with this light because it's a longer hallway because it's different than the past floors you get the sense that you're near the top and what you were Think looking for is near the top right yeah I mean that's what I'm looking for, but I'm also kind of looking for Gillian, and I don't know if he's gonna be up here somehow. Like you start to hear like <laughs> like footsteps from below the, the ladder. I like that you called it a ladder uh, too. Below, below the, the stairs. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyways, from where you just came from. That was conveniently timed to when you said Gillian. I think it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Look down the spiral staircase. Are you sure? As I said, it's footsteps, and you don't know what it is. You wanna go meet it? Well. Nothing that has been dangerous has made a sound that wasn't. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even hear footsteps when. Maybe we like hide. I mean, does it sound like the monster that's been chasing us? Throw perception. Sixteen. I see that as soon as you guys kind of stepped up here, you heard a like a um, distant scary. But it's approaching, and fast. Oh my god, Gillian's not fast. I hide. But Gillian's so slow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll cell check. Okay. I also hide. Four. 23. Turning off hot mode to hide? Yeah. E Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to hide with a fire sword in your hand. I'll turn off hot mode. Am I still focusing on invisibility? Yes. How long do you... Do, can I, like, do a survival check to maybe... Like 10 minutes now. Unless it's not allowed, not permissible, like I don't have time to, I, I think I am going to cast... Drop my concentration with, like, the amount of time it's been because it's close enough and cast Pass Without Trace. And one last move before I hide. I'm going to once again, I'm going to pull something out of my pocket. Uh, a flute. I'm going to use a magical tinkering and put five feet of light magical on it. And like cent center hallway, basically. Like right in the center of this hallway. So we can kind of see what passes. There's definitely enough time of uh, hiding for it to arrive. Uh, at this point, you guys can't see it. Because it's in the dark. But 
Gillian, you do make it to the top of the stage. I turn around with my fucking middle fingers up and I go, fuck you, shadow demon. And I really slowly fucking like close the door or whatever fucking mechanism is is there. <laughs> just like let out so much air that I just hadn't been fucking breathing while just running completely silent. <sighs> I'd like to do a perception check and listen for the footsteps and, and maybe see if I'm hearing the wet squelching of the salmon shoe. <laughs> and you definitely hear... <laughs> you definitely hear both the wet salmon shoes and, like, wet breathing lower, um, like, on the third floor where you just came from, that, uh, some sort of... that whatever that creature is. Holy shit. Oh, great. Okay, cool. It's coming. It's coming for round two. So I see Gillian. You don't see anything you hear him, though, because he's obviously making noise. Holy shit, it's Gillian. Okay. A hot moment. I go up to Gillian. Gillian, <laughs> Gillian, Gillian. I grab his skin. I'm start pulling at it. Your skin. You have skin. You have skin. Does he have skin? It's so bad. It's actually so much worse than we thought it was. What is it's it? It's actually so unbelievably bad. What do you mean? Bad. What is it? I, 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 okay, okay. I, I, I woke up like in some fucking place. And there's people, by the way. There's still people here, but they were okay. And then they weren't. And then they like said things to me. And then they died in front of me. And then I couldn't do anything the same because I had no diamonds because it turned them into a crown. And then there was like a room with a chair and a helmet and then a button. And I pressed the button and I <laughs> should have done it. And I put on the helmet and it was. And it was bad, and it took something from me, and then there was a shadow, like, demon thing that was, that was chasing me, too, and I tried to get away from it, and the shadow demon, and I felt like it got me for a second, I thought it took something as well, but then I ran all the way up, and I got here! Damn, that's crazy. What did it take from you? What? Well, I don't really, it's like, it's, like it's, it's one of those situations where it takes something from you, and then after it takes something, you, like, don't really know what it took, but you, like, feel like it was really... But, like, you're missing something. Really, I, lo I look her in the eye. Really important, really key to your character. <laughs> what? <laughs> really key. Hey, how do you feel about Destiny? <laughs> um, actually, really good. Oh no, that's what they. No, talk. that's bad. <laughs> Killing. What's the prophecy? I mean, that that old that old tree, that old piece of bark was spewing some shit. But I think we all know the real one. A hero born of moonlight, storm, and sea. They shall rise or fall to bring unity. They will be tested or bested by evil's hand. By their choice, one will remain sea or land. I mean, come on, guys. It's not rocket science. Okay, so like we figured that out pretty quickly. We can like maybe unpack that in a bit. Uh, yeah. We, yeah, we, I just don't feel that. like this There's is like the time. To I mean, be... it's better than your skin. You still got skin. That was really crucial to you as a person. Yeah, for a minute I didn't. What? What? Don't get, don't get caught. How did it feel? N not good. Not good. Yeah, I thought I saw your skin. I don't really know what's real anymore. No, I don't really either. But hey, um, Jay, I think we should, me and Chip should pick the next destination after this. Yeah, I, well, because I mean, I, this is not, this is not like even an evil you can kind of smite and explode. It is an evil that was just like <laughs> you. Why, why does that, why does everything I do traumatize my friends? Where she goes, come on. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Because now at least I know that there are people down at the bottom of whatever the fuck this is, and some of them are still kicking a little bit. I tried to help them out, but it didn't really pan out super well, so I had to dip a Rooney. But if we go back there, there may be a chance that one of them, one of them, has the information that you're looking for. We can do that. We're at the top, I think, now, so let's check it up here. Yeah, we can go. We just need to be fast because it knows we are here and it definitely was chasing me. Okay, well let's what? move then. We can... We've been standing here talking for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. At the end of this uh, hall is a grand door, like office door, and above it is the symbol of an anchor. And Jay, you immediately click, you've seen the symbol of the anchor inside the sun with the like compass edges around it. You can tell that this is a main office and the doors are shut there are double doors any lock that i can see investigation or arcana you pick uh they are both the same for me so i guess i'm gonna do uh investigation fuck my fucking gay ass stupid life <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i got seven it doesn't appear to be trapped <laughs> Nothing appears to be trapped. It's, hey, he's probably <laughs> trapped. Killian, don't worry. I got this. I get off my 10 foot pole. Dude, I'm live. <laughs> live. Hang on. I got you. I'm going to take out my 10 foot pole too and 
tape it to his 10 foot pole <laughs> and then we can be 20 feet away from the right. door. Make my 10 foot poles like a little bit smaller so we like lock them in. To use a more nautical term, we dock. Okay, you dock your poles together and then you're just gonna try and poke the door? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure that, that... I don't remember why we were doing this. Yeah, so no nothing happens, it's obviously a pull door. Here's the other thing, before we go inside, um, and the reason why I do not have this sword on right now, or like on bright mode, is because sound draws it, but light does too. So just be really careful. Cold, cold mode, cold mode, cold mode. <laughs> Are you immediately? Okay. Yep. You're in the dark. You hear... Do not hot mode. Do not hot mode. It wants you to fucking freak out. But like up up until this point it didn't come at us when we had the You're still right next to the door, Jay. Everybody get far away from the door. Just like okay somewhere. I tie my rope around the door and I go as far away from it as I can. I go like Spider-Man in the corner of a, the room. <laughs> just like find the corner of the room and I go up in the fucking top. I hold myself <laughs> like, there. Like fucking like Batman at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> and he's just like... <laughs> I just like, I'm trying to figure out where to hide in a fucking box room. It's a lot of physical sensory to get through this, to do this, because you're now in the dark. Um, and you do that and you're just going to pull them open. Uh, when I'm far away, yes. You pull as hard as you can and then just... It's clear. It's it's locked. As you try to pull it. Oh fuck, Gillian, you want to pull this thing a little harder? I'm just gonna peek my head down the staircase and use divine sense to make sure it's not like. You don't get any uh, pings from it. Okay, cool. I th I think we're we're safe. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab onto the rope. Wanna just on three this shit, Chibo? I'm with it. All right, let's do it. Three. Bam. Two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> he goes like flying out. <laughs> Gillian, roll strength advantage. Ships out. 23. You rip the door open. And there is an immediate, like, trap activation. A huge fireball shoots down the hole. <laughs> so, everybody make your deck set. I got a 10. I got 25. <laughs> I'm trying to decide. 19. I'll just go without it. Fuck it. Could I trade with Gillian? What? What? Could I, like, push him out of the way and take the whole bitch? Uh, yeah. I'll let that happen. If that's how you want to use your, like, ability that lets you have saves, yeah. you can save someone. I'll let it happen yep. for this. Yeah, sure. Bet I do it. Don't worry, ship. I can- Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 out of the way. Uh, then the two of you, Jay and Chip, take 39 points of fire damage. I push Gillian out of the way. I go, my turn. I stand in front. I hold my arms at my side. I go, Chibo! And I get fucking <laughs> eviscerated. Good fucking lord. Okay. The door is now wide open. You've just been scorched beyond your mind. Uh, it's akin to the pain that you feel in your leg constantly, but all around your body, Jay. Uh, and as you do, you can see that inside that room is fairly well lit, but immediately behind you, as soon as it bursts open, as soon as this fireball goes... <laughs> You start to hear that fucking sound, and it's nearby. It's coming right up the steps. Well, this is a small hallway, and maybe we go through the door and then um, hide? Run, Jay. Okay, run. I run, run. I run. Run, then hide. Run, then hide. Where are you going is inside of an office. There's more places to hide inside an office. Run, I run, I run, I go, I ran. We can also try to close the door again and, like, lock it with a fucking unbreakable arrow. Like, our plan has been every time. Oh my god. They've got the pull side. They do. We can't do that. Oh no. Don't breathe, don't think, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Ah! Okay, hide. <laughs> okay, everybody roll south. 35. Holy shit, I actually rolled pretty good. Uh, I got a 19, I got a 19. I got a 19 as well. I'll, I'll go run over and hide to where Jay is then because Chip is probably fucking <laughs> apparated into shadow. I became the shadow. Yeah, kind of your rolls have been so fucked up today. It's been I just want to I just I just want to be happy business. You would be happy. <laughs> You're if right. You the just roll with it. <laughs> I should buy the just roll with it riptide dice. Just roll with it riptide dice. So, you rush in, you hide uh under desks, chairs, in dark corners, but this place is well illuminated. Uh or dimly lit, we'll say like that. Uh, but like candles and hanging, and a hanging like, um, I guess like a candelabra, but it's hanging. So a candle chandelier. And you hear the footsteps in the hallway outside of this office. It stops at the doorway. Looks in. And all of you hear like a very low... Jay Gill, you understand what this says? Cool. <laughs> Can't go in. But more in 
control their inside. Wait, what did well, you I, say? I can, I can, I, I can, like, make I, it I, I didn't, I didn't, it's got like a thick accent. And there are subtitles? Can't go in. Uh-huh. For that one. More invader inside. More invader inside. Call for backup. Call for backup. I think it's like we living or something. Uh, and you feel that presence just sort of like warp somewhere else. Did you guys just like mind link? What just happened? No, no, no. It just spoke a language. Hey, what, what what language is that? Fish. Fish language. Okay, but Jenna fish. All you hear is that, that low growling. Let me see if I got something for you. Wait, 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 wait. More invader inside? Wait, does that mean there's more people who here? Who the fuck would- who the fuck would have come in here? Call for backup? What does call for backup mean? Is that he's gonna call for backup? Well, okay, or like so here's my thought, is if it was chasing Gillian, then myself and Jay would be the more. Call for backup? Well, I don't know. You said there was a bunch of others. There might be others coming. But, sounds like he can't get in here right now. Let's just focus on the now? I know, know I just have a crazy question. Jay, uh huh. You cast it past without trace, right? Yeah. So invisibility's gone, right? Yeah. You don't think? I hope not. Okay. It was gonna go down in five minutes, anyways. Like, then that would be five minutes ago, like five minutes. So. I just hope that they did not follow us in here. I hope to God they didn't. I hope to the great, beautiful, unkillable leviathans of this beautiful world. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Hmm? Don't, don't, no, don't, don't, no, he doesn't need to know. Gillian? They in the test tube. What do you mean? The they're, Leviathans, they're, they're dead. What do you mean they're dead? No, 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 they're not dead. They're Levi. They're Leviathans. There's those powerful godlike creatures on the earth. They're not dead. We can what? do this. He's very passionate this? about- What's we don't this? No, I hand him the bones. This could be one of yours. You have billions. Check me out. Check me out. I, I unbeautiful myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I hold that bone up to my bone. Different bone. Maybe we can unpack, like- the mortality of, of Leviathans later on, but um, maybe we just kind of wrap up here and try to get out. No, I, 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 listen, I totally get it. You have your information that, that you want, but did you guys see? What did you see? Big Leviathan uh, bones. Big Leviathan bones. No, that shouldn't, that should not be possible. How, how, how far away is that? Just on the level beneath us, where you got skinned and unskinned. We also found an elevator that will take us down. And hopefully out of here. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, I'm gonna start looking. Yeah, me too. And when you guys get out of hiding, you start looking around. This office is very strict, but it's very clean. It's very, like, uh, ornate, polished, and stained wooden desk with a cap, almost like a captain's leather chair pushed up into it. And behind it is a giant wall, almost like a door to a vault. But there are four square runes that look like they can be pressed in. And they're different symbols. The bottom right... Um, is the symbol of an anchor. The top right is the symbol of two eyes. The bottom left is two wings. And then the top left is a sun. Fuck, that was the order of the symbols on the top of the doors. So the first one is the sun. The second one is the eyes. Third one uh, is the third wings. Third one's wings. Fourth one's the anchor. If we're going from bottom up. But what if it's the other way around? Fuck, if we know. Can we? Let's look around. Maybe there'll be like a, another clue. Roll investigation, Jay. It's, o it's okay if you say no, Chip. But, um, while she's doing this and looking around, um... Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I just, I... I took an oath, and... Would you take me to see it? You... You... You want me to, And we... <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> Bro. Because if... If I know, but if what she's about to do sets off an alarm or something... Are you something, being for I, real right now? I'm being so for real, oh because if I don't God. go pay my fucking respects to this thing, oh literally this is God. like... Level one undersea paladin shit. I will absolutely lose my fucking oath and every, which is why I was really, really not happy when you were like, yep, it's that's a bone, that's a leviathan, because I still no, don't I believe feel it. You. But no, I feel you. It's like kind of a sacred you. thing to uh -huh. my to my people, and uh -huh. I know it's not a great time. Oh, it's a I know it's not a mm -hmm. good time. No, but I, can I know get it's it. a bit of an. I, get it. I know it's an awkward situation, <sighs> but you're sneaky. I'm. I try. Do you want my shoes? 
Put on the shoes. Second, I want less, the shoes. Less chance. Like, okay, <laughs> I, I, want, I, 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 yeah. Give you the shoes. They're boots of elven. The boots of elven kind. Add them to your inventory. Put them on. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I give Jay my fish slippers, and I Thanks. say, Jay, please keep these safe. <laughs> I will. The boots of elven kind aren't aren't like attunement, are they? They aren't. No, oh, you just not. wear okay. them, and they work. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, okay, it's related advantage on. Like, being silent, basically. Oh, that's so good. Dude, you've actually saved my life. Oh, I also definitely soft mode and, and make my armor go soft. Hey, Chip, follow me across this lava mode into this scary, evil place so that we can go find a <laughs> Dude, thing. I'm hey, sorry. Chip, Come follow on. me into the monster hallway so that we can go find some bones. <laughs> His voice is getting smaller as as Gillian and Chip held down the hallway. Hey, Chip, how about we go into the Black Sea and we sail around and we save people? Speaking of bones, speaking of bones, Jay, can we have the, the, the scary yell bone just in case? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. I can't hey, Chip, how about we save all the people on this Laughing Lot Island and stop them all from laughing? Because it's a that's a good thing to do. You motherfuckers! Every goddamn Dude, time. Listen, I I haven't met many I haven't met any human babies, but it sounds like you're being a little bit of a human baby right now. Oh, I'll show you a human baby. What? I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> well, you roll stealth checks as you walk away. You're leaving my pass without trace, so I got thirteen. Natural one. No. But you got a 14 total. Um, no, I got a, uh, 23 total. On a natural one? Reliable talent. Reliable talent, yeah. <laughs> It's actually so funny that you can just, like, roll a one and be like, 23. You're basically walking and, like, talking and, like, com not complaining, but just, like, airing out these frustrations, so it makes sense you roll a natural one. Um, we'll get back to them as you guys go back down and show Gillian the bonus. With your 20, you roll a 23 on investigation. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Why did I let them leave? Um... <laughs> I don't want to be alone here. Wait, well, as far as you know, the thing didn't come in. Yeah. So, but you are, there's, there's a timeline. I mean, your ship is not invisible, all this kind of stuff. Uh, and you still don't know how to get out of here. You don't know if that elevator leads the way out. You have no idea. It's all in lockdown. So, got to make this quick. There is that fault that you assume the symbols are the code. You don't know which direction. Uh, and you start looking around. There is a, like, drawers that are, like, built into the frame of the desk. One of them is... Uh, just normally locked. If it's pickable, first of all, is it trapped? <laughs> and you roll, uh, what did you roll? 23. 23, honestly, this one is not trapped, it's just locked. Yeah, I'd like to try to pick it. Use your thing that changes your tools into Thieves' Tools if you don't have them. Uh, and if you do have two Thieves' Tools, it looks like you're proficient, so just roll Dex plus proficiency, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, it's 13. Flash of Genius before you say if it's successful or not. So 17. 17 is not to it. Fuck. Uh, I'll let you try again, but it will be harder. What if I tried to break it open? That's like a strength check. Okay. Or however else you want to try. 10. <laughs> yeah, 10 is not like breaking the latch mechanisms that keep it shut. Oh, I guess I'll give it one more try and then I'll just fucking wing it. <laughs> nope. My rolls are so ass today. 16. Where the fuck is Gilliam when you need him? Um, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Sorry. The only other option, it will leave a trace and obviously a mess is to just start breaking open this desk. And then someone will know that you were here. Well, that's fine. Without a doubt. And you can tell that this is a very important office. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna start fucking slamming shit into it. I don't I don't think I'm too worried about being like stealthy about like them not knowing I was here, I guess, really. Who do you say rolled a hit? Okay. Dude, I suck. I suck. 14. I mean a 14's gonna hit it. Um oh, this feels loud. That's fine. As far as I know, it couldn't get in here. And we're not even in there. Yeah. So it's gonna be distracted. I'm just gonna, like shoving my sword in there and trying to pry it open and obviously bust something on the desk. Oh, that's a 10. Yeah, okay, so it takes a few strikes. It takes a lot of wailing. Um, it's not on the first strike. You go until you break like a small, it's like a small hole that you have to like use the hilt to fucking get into it. Um, and eventually you do make, you like, I guess it's like fine purchase within the wood and it splinters enough to where you get the hilt of the sword sword into it. Um, and you're able to start reaching your hand around in there. It's a small hole. It kind of wraps around your wrist. You rummage around in there and there's two things. With your previous investigation check, you do feel uh, a, a button on the inside, like upper part of the of this drawer and you do grab uh, a, a, like some sort of object inside of it as well. Okay, I'd like to pull out the object before I do anything else and look at it. Uh, you are holding what looks to be like one of those audio journal conch shells. Fuck it. Uh, and I think I'm gonna listen back. I mean, I don't think they're too loud, right? Like You already just fucking broke a desk. Uh, you just press play. Are you gonna keep doing anything else while it goes on? I gotta, I can't, I, I'm tired of saying or, like check for traps, but I wanna check the button. I mean, and see if it's like magical in some means or trapped or... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that... 
like just going based off the first roll, this one is not trapped. The door was trapped, uh, and most people would have died to the fireball. Yeah. Speaking of, I am going to drink a potion of greater healing. You press play on this calm shell, you like click the top of it, and then you press the button and you chug a fucking uh, health potion at the same time. Um, it is taking a while to do all of this, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'm in no rush, because they're downstairs, and I have no light source in the magical darkness. Just curious, what was Gillian's HP? Oh god, Grizz, after everything, what was it? He looked- God, I think I healed back up to full with lay on hands. Oh, did you? Okay, because I was gonna say, yeah. did, would you have been able to take that fireball? Yeah, but dude, you got one shit brownie point. The button, when you press it, a um, secret like compartment pops up on top of the desk. Inside of that is multiple scrolls and some sort of like logbook and files. Go ahead and roll our kind of free reach your hand in there. 21, God bless. You get the sense that when you, if you remove these without dispelling the trap, this will fucking hurt you in some way. Uh, but the conch shell starts playing. While it plays, she's going to leave that thing open on the desk for now. She's going to... Come back to it. Yeah, we're going to come back to it in a second. Look at the giant vault door, um, and she's going to drop her Pass Without Trace and cast Detect Magic using her eye. What are you looking for exactly? I just want to see if there's like anything like any any hint of what i should be doing or like where they could go because of this uh if not then i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what my gut tells me it is absolutely some sort of like mass or high level abjuration because you get that with the tech magic it is a sort of lock that could be suppressed by like knock mm -hmm. or dispel magic it just has to be high level too yeah i don't have either of those as far as like and you can definitely tell that it is a code arcane lock like you have to pl press these in a, in a specific order you get that what order? It doesn't automatically tell you that with Detect Magic, unfortunately. Uh, and then what catches you off guard as you're thinking that and studying it with your eye, there's a bit of, like, white noise behind the uh, cone shell, like fuzz, before you hear your grandmother's voice. Fuck. The plan is smooth sailing. Tests with this Black Sea are going well. Praise the Solar Mother. She sent me a messenger to warn it was coming. Us being prepared. Construction of a headquarters on Allport was swift. Once the calamity cause of the neutral grounds treaty was broken. The day where it spreads is coming. And we'll be ready. Our machine is stable. My son is stable. The new Black Ops have replaced the lives of their targets. Soon the world will be at the mercy of my justice. Dude, your fucking grandma's crazy, she's dog. fucking insane. Okay. Uh, it ends there. Uh, it, it almost, it, in a way, like, shakes. Shakes Jay. Yeah. At her core. You freeze for a second. What do you do now? Sun, eyes, wing, anchor. Okay. Sun, eyes, wing, anchor. In that order. As soon as you touch it, you hear that, and then, and then there's like a, and it begins to pull or push open. There's like a heavy breath exhale, um, as, as it begins to. She was ready to fucking explode again. <laughs> Would have been so funny if like Chip convinced you to the other way, and then like you all exploded and died. <laughs> but no, that's the original way I intended it. It opens up, and you just see... In this vault, two archaic looking tablets made out of some weird golden stone with clear carvings into it of some language. And next to that is like a tube that you would put like a poster in. Okay. Like a tube that like would send a message somewhere? More like a protective tube to some sort of document or scroll, but it's really long. Um, and these tablets are heavy. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying now. They are, like, ancient. Uh, and that's it. That's all that's in this vault. Are the tablets, like, easily pick up or are they, like... It's gonna take both of your huge. hands to carry all this stuff. And you still have the, uh, documents and stuff that were in the hidden compartment on the desk. Yeah. So there's a lot to carry. So while you figure out how you're gonna get it all out, we switch over to Chip and Gillian. You guys just <laughs> walked into... You're on the third floor. Oh, wait, I have rail shoes now. Oh, uh, this, this is weird. Yeah, really weird, right? <laughs> can't, even hear, can't even hear my wet footsteps. I'm going to ask that because we are in a very terrifying, tense situation and you guys are split, that uh, 
You, Connie, turn your camera off and deafen. Oh, okay. Uh, you're not hearing any monsters when you walk into the arcane laboratory. And, Gillen, you do see the huge bones. We'd be in the dark. Yeah, we turned off hot mode so that it doesn't see us. Okay, so you're in the dark. So, Gillian, you're actually, like, holding uh, or, or guiding Chip because he cannot see. And you get close enough to where you can see the bones. And so it's, like, the, the laboratory is, like, its own room, basically? Like a... Yeah, its own chamber. Okay, and if you keep going forward, we should be in the laboratory. Uh, I'm going to tell you when I hit something. Okay. Okay, I think I feel a door you got frame. It? Yeah, open, it, open that up. Yeah. I don't remember if this one was okay. a push oh. or a pull. Okay, I try and pull it. Okay. Is it put, okay, I push it. Okay, okay, I see something. I think. Nope, that's just darkness. Okay, let me walk a little more. Here, uh, we we should oh, be no. fine now at least. I hot mode one of my swords. How are you supposed to see the bones if I don't hot mode? Oh, I guess that's here. Just shut the door behind us. Shut the door behind yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll shut the door. Um, I. Oh shoot, we don't have the arrow. All right, just in case then. I, I, I'm gonna um use the um. Decanter of endless uh, water, uh, shoot water out of the door, and use uh, like shape water to to freeze it. Um, oh, that's smart. Kind of over the door. Okay. Yeah, you freeze the door shut. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. Yeah, I do a bunch of We're it. We're good. I think so. Well, if we die, we die, man. Hot mode. That's the spirit. Take one of my swords out, and I illuminate the bones. There it is. Whoa. No. You weren't kidding. No. I look at the bones. Wow. This thing must have been huge. What's, uh, what's the deal with these guys anyway? Like, why do you... The Leviathans, you mean? Yeah, like, what's... You say it's a big deal for your people. What? Why? Well, I, I don't exactly, um, know. They didn't make me with all of his memories. And then I take the bone. You didn't really think I just grew the skin back, did you? And I activate it. Ah, this is fucking Gillian and Jay <laughs> screaming inside this fucking room. Uh, Jim, you immediately hear fucking. And I need you to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you good. I got you really fucking good. I didn't think I could pull it off. Oh shit. You got a 10. Oh, I didn't think I'd be able to do it. I didn't think I'd be able to lure you away into a dark room and convince you to turn your lights off. But I did. And I even froze the door. I even do I even froze it behind us. I thought you'd ask questions or something, but I <laughs> 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 All right, roll initiative. Natural 20. <laughs> oh, fucking life. 26. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. It's the fucking Riptide dice. I'm so serious. Double Gillian, what do you do? I'm not sure if I've got any sort of surprise. I kind of just wanted to do that. Uh, you technically uh, do have an action end because you did just ambush him. I'm going to use the sound because that's the most that's the most dramatic shit. I'm going to do that. Okay. Yeah, 100%. So in that case, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Since you didn't like directly attack him. In that case, Chip, it is your turn. Guy in front of you right now has Gillian's thing, but it's not Gillian. Okay, I hide. You're just gonna like duck under something and hide? Yep. 23. With the 23. You're gonna hide. Uh, you just duck under somewhere immediately. What is Chip thinking right now? What's your feeling? I- Wait, what are you fucking- I don't know. Fuck! What? <laughs> I'm thinking fuck! Okay. <laughs> Alright, you duck in. Uh, zero so panicking. As soon as you duck in somewhere, I also rolled a natural 20. Oh. And you duck in right into- the eyesight face to face with some entity that you can't make out because you're blind, but you immediately feel it right in front of you. God damn it. I just need you to make a dex. The fucking skin, man. It's okay, Chip. We got everything we needed Suck from you. Suck my him. fucking and hairy balls, we'll dude. Everything we need from you. <laughs> I have enough memory to know there's no hairy balls there anymore. 14. When we make a new you, we'll give him fat studs. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you are skeletons. This makes us even weirder. Um, you feel, you like feel in quotation marks, uh, something like wet 
slimy and like super strong tensile wise wrap around the bone that would be your neck you're grappled and restrained immediately you take 20 points of necrotic damage and feel yourself like being uh like the sensation of being fucking eaten dude i took the fireball for you you did and that's when i knew <laughs> that's when i knew i had you bro <laughs> i know it's so fucked what will doppelgilly do doppelgilly will uh look at bone ship whatever you're doing do it up because it's probably the last thing thanks for taking me chip to say goodbye just not to little leviathan and uh yeah yeah i'm gonna go up and i'm gonna i'm gonna beat around the bush here but Doppelgillian gillian would stab him would you still have to pass the perception check to find me uh you did hide and then you were immediately kind of pulled out of hiding mm. Once you were restrained. Oh, so I'm restrained, so I have a... Uh, so that means he can just kind of do it. It's an advantage, actually. I don't think it's just doing it. And I don't have... I don't have the bonus from Destiny's Blade, which is why it wasn't lit Speaking up. Speaking of Destiny's Blade, I need Doppelgillian to roll Arcana with disadvantage. Oh, let's fucking go! Okay, okay. Oh, Doppelgillian rolled all right. Doppelgillian got a 12. Doppelgillian says this shit, walks over, and right as Doppelgillian is about to stab him, the sword <laughs> disappears out of his hand. <laughs> Oh, shit. Does Doppelgillian have a bonus action? Well, this is unexpected. For a brief moment, you Chip, you only see that bright glow of Destiny's Blade disappearing and this, like, menacing, terrifying grin on Doppelgillian's face and this creature, something you can't even see yet, pulling you into its mouth. <laughs> Doppelgillian looks down, like, in the most genuine Gillian way of just, like, absolutely sheepish at this. And then back up, and he will uh, just shrug and with a quickened spell uh, say fall and uh, cast command. So it's a wi it's a wisdom save. I'm I mean I'm being like held up by my. Th it's basically like spend your turn to like just kind of drop down. Natural 20. Let's go. Let's go. What the okay. fuck? You definitely pass. You definitely pass. Real Gillian rolled a zero on his initiative, which means it's the his turn. The fucking course he did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's real Gillian? Real Gillian is now on the first floor. He's been running up this whole time. Well, see, you're like on your way up to second. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on, but you're like making a mad dash away from something else. Yeah, real Gillian, real Gillian is just gonna keep running up the stairs until he has some indicator. He's like kind of like whisper, cheap, cheap, cheap. Here's what happens. Uh, let's say before you even start going up the next ladder, you heard that fucking roar above somewhere, and then <laughs> Destiny's blade appears in your hand, and you hear in your head, Destiny's blade. D-Blade, Chip is about to die. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I start, I, 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 um, I, I'll cast haste on myself. Um, yeah, I, ca I cast haste on myself. Um, and I'm gonna, uh, run as, as fast as I can. What's your movement total with that? Just so I get a ballpark uh, of with, how much you can move in one turn. Yeah, with dash too. Yes. So a haste to dash is 60 feet, and then I can dash as an action, so make it 120 feet, and then I can dash as a, another action as for haste and do 180 feet. So I can go 180 feet in a turn. I don't even want to think about how fucking far that is. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, I want to say H in this like, beam haste. of fucking light, uh, you, as fast as you can, Destiny's Blade tells you third floor, uh, left laboratory. And as you get up there and get closer, you sort of feel like mentally something uh, uh, extremely like wrong, if that is, like someone else is in your fucking brain. Oh. Uh, you get right up to the door of the laboratory and it's covered in ice. God, Chip! And you hear Chip! the steps behind it from the beast and you hear like, I don't know, some fucking, I don't know if you would hear like Doppelgilly laughing, but you hear struggling going inside, like like things being knocked around and growling and this weird slurping and struggling obviously going on inside. Um, unfortunately, you've already used your action and stuff just to get here. How long do we want to keep uh, Connie deaf in place? Uh, well, there's probably a 
shit ton of sounds happening at this point, so I think if he's hearing the scuffle and screaming and shit, like, that makes sense, so. I've, I've come to some dreadful conclusions while Hub is deafened. Once you start assembling <laughs> how you're going to get all this stuff together and then get out of here with it, because it's a lot of important stuff, stuff you still haven't even gone over and seen, like, what info you can glean from it, you hear that terrifying guttural low roar coming from down the floor below and it is like constant it is this constant screeching happening down below like there is a scuffle happening on the bottom floor now um and i need you to roll initiative as you've just entered oh boy and she she probably would also hear her own scream yes you hear a loud uh congon like a duo scream between gillian and jack yeah oh, fuck okay i rolled a basically you recognize the bone item 19 that you made. oh we are currently at the top of the round here so that's gonna be chip and whatever the fuck this is that's trying to eat you hmm, things went well i could tell <laughs> bonus action hot mode give okay. me a sec to <sighs> look at Both it flames black and red let me see it you're gonna look at this thing yep it is dragging you from behind, so you have to, like, cock your head over your shoulder just to get a glimpse. And you see this canine-shaped, like, super, like, elongated and wrong, similar to, like, the mutated hollow creatures you've seen. And it is quadrupedal right now, but as it, like, pulls you back and reels it into its mouth, it begins to stand on its hind legs. Um, its head is this black helmet, similar to the one you saw on the first floor. And its visor has opened to reveal this slithering tongue that drips in saliva that's wrapped and long, it's long and wrapped around your fucking throat. And it is pulling you in to these teeth that come out, like, 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 stick out of the edges of the visor. You can see behind it with the hot mode now, its tail has this like rifle shaped weapon attached to it and blades and uh, that start at the, its claws and wrap around its its limbs rapidly like chainsaws. And you, that's where you start to hear that fucking low snarling growl. It's the fucking weird shit on its body. Uh, and it's made from that. It's made from like a mix between the stringy black ichor and black steeled plated armor. No! <laughs> if that isn't the most terrifying thing I've ever created. An amalgamation of fucking nightmare. In your mind, uh, Doppelgilly, since you're connected to this thing in a way, you hear it basically like say in Primordial, Dark and acquired. And you would know, this is not the only one in this place. Yes, Papa. It's a good thing I already came to that conclusion. <laughs> what, the Gillian was a. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, not when before you left. When were you, you gonna left. fucking tell me? Not before you left. <laughs> not before you left. You left, and then I heard the conch shell, and then I thought about it for a bit, and it said, the new black ops have replaced the lives of their targets. Uh-oh. Hey, that monster walked in, and it started speaking out loud for some reason. Maybe it wasn't speaking to nobody, but in fact to Gillian, <laughs> who is a fake. Kind of weird how his skin was everywhere, and he was and he's just, just fine. Yeah, and he's just normal. Fully healed. Fully healed. 100% health. Like, he never walked into any traps. Gillian, Gillian doesn't have any way to, to do that. He can't lay on hands himself to full health. There's a 30 <laughs> HP pool, dude. Uh, Chip, what are you doing to break free? You want to try and sever the thing connected to, like, its tongue, basically? Mm-hmm. Okay, roll ahead. You need to do 30 damage to sever its tongue. Wait, he's restrained though. He doesn't have. Can he get sneak attack? There's like no way to do 30. You can't sneak attack if you have disadvantage, and since you're restrained. What a nightmare. Maybe next turn. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Here's what I'm gonna do I need to get 30. My firebolt has 3d10. It can do. That's crazy. <laughs> a max. If I roll three tenths in a row. Of 30. And you have disadvantage on the shot. So you have to hit it, and then you have to get three tens, which is fucking uh -huh. nuts bonkers. Uh -huh. Holy shit. Riptide dice! Riptide what dice! What do you think I'm getting? Riptide dice! First one. 15. Nine. That's not going to hit. I shoot a firebolt somewhere. It's really hard to get aim when you're being dragged behind you, so you hit something uh, a loud. Uh, Gillian, real Gillian, and uh, no, Jake can't hear that, but real Gillian, you definitely hear a firebolt shoot out and then hit some fucking equipment in there. Yes! Keep doing whatever that is, Chip! I'm coming! Chip, you just heard another Gillian voice outside. But you're being choked, so. It doesn't even matter. You don't have vocal cords right now. 
I don't know how Chip works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat an animated skeleton at this point. Because the creature has to roll to hit to swallow. Should I use the Riptide Dice, or is that too mean? Use them! <laughs> use the Riptide Dice, dude. Guys, they aren't out yet, but the Riptide Dice are fucking sick. DMs, you gotta try the Riptide Dice, they will kill your players. We made them for a reason. Use them, baby. That is a 22 to hit. Do I have a reaction? I do. Shield. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, even if I did math right, it wouldn't have hit. You're still grappled and restrained. It uses his action to try and swallow you. It does not do that. Next up is Doppelgilly. Doppelgilly sees... Chip casts shield and fireball and looks uh, down and says, Oh, I remember this doohickey. And he clicks the button on the anti magic pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And whoop, the field goes up around. Hot mode actually goes away. I'm pretty sure because this y yes, is a higher it, level. Yes, it does. So it's back to darkness. <laughs> this is so, this is fucking terrifying, dude. Chip, you're in the most terrifying situation I've ever seen in my life. And I have a, I have a magical plus two to my AC. Does that go away? I think it would deactivate all your magic items. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yes, it does deactivate all your magic items. Fuck, dude. So your ring isn't working at the moment. I think you have like a few magical pluses there. If I Clicked and saw right. Took them all yeah. off. Oh my god. <laughs> it's what my not character would do. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, Jay should have gone before you. Yeah, I was but, wondering about uh, that. Jay, you're far away. You're not going to get there anyways. Um, you're not going to get there in time anyways. That's what I'm trying to say. But now you can take your turn after Doppelgilly. Um, Jay's going to start moving the two tablets in the tube outside. And like as she does that, she's going to start thinking about what she heard on the thing. And start thinking more about... <laughs> Everything else that has happened since Killian has come back uh, and be like, oh fuck, oh shit, this is bad. And she's gonna hide the tablet and the tube away somewhere, just like somewhere. Uh, I don't know where the fuck in this office she could hide it, but she's gonna tuck it away somewhere uh, where like it might not be totally obvious at first. Is the plan to come back and get it? Yes. I would recommend you bring it with you. Just outside knowledge here, this is not a win the fight and come back kind of scenario. I also say that once you touch these tablets, um, when they're in your hands, these unreadable runes at first that are engraved into it begin to assemble themselves into something that you can read. Um, but it's like no time. Yeah, I'm definitely in a hurry. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I think it's gonna work, but I'm gonna pick everything up still, drag it, look at the desk and the secret thing, and I'm gonna say, after coming to this realization and everything, I'm gonna say, Fuck you, Fayfarin. And I'm going to slam my hand on the desk and cast Shatter uh, and destroy it completely. Is this including those documents that were in the Only the desk, compartment? only the desk. It should only do the desk. Wait, it might do everything. It's, it's, Fuck. I'm just going to grab the documents and take the damage. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not leaving anything behind, dude. I thought, I didn't think about Shatter. Shit. I, I would say it's an object interaction to grab the documents and then an action to use Shatter. So you could do both. Yeah, that's But yeah, fair. it's a con save without disarming the... Yeah, it's a 10-foot sphere, so... The trap. Uh, and I can't disarm the trap, okay. so, uh, fuck it, weeball. Yeah, grab him, roll the con save. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna, you know, just cause everything's been stupidly high, I am gonna use my stupid fucking, uh, this spark of genius on this. Uh, that's gonna be 25. So, this trap, this spell trap, tries to, almost like it takes control of the very muscle fibers in your arm, and it tries to twist them around, but... You save, and you're able to keep control and, like, squeeze your fist hard enough to resist all of that pain. Yeah, I grab the documents. Once again, fuck you, Fayfair, and slam my hand. I'm gonna fuck up this desk. You wanna roll damage? It's, it's, it can't save, so. I rolled, like, ass, kind of. 20 damage to the, to the desk. And uh, fucking all the objects in this fucking room just shatter uh, and, and collapse themselves, and you begin to head out. You're holding with both hands these tablets and everything that you found here that you can carry. Uh, again, they're heavy, uh, but you're able to still run. Um, it's just going to be really difficult to use your hands, and you're already struggling to run with your leg anyways. I run as far as I can go, basically, uh, down to the steps. Okay, you get to the end of this hallway, and, and a little bit down the steps, but you can't dash right now because you don't have the action or the and stuff, so you're not going to make it even down to the next floor yet. Now, it is real Gillian's turn. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Um, can I see inside in any way, shape, or form, or is it literally just like a... There are no windows. There are no windows anywhere. You've never seen windows in this place at all. So no. Okay, so then there's absolutely no way. Um, I'm gonna have to just break down the fucking door. Um, I, I, I'm gonna hit it really hard with a sword. 27 to hit. Dude, that hits, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, I hope so. Well, I'm just, I gotta, like, break the door and the ice, you know what I mean? Oh, right, right, right. I don't think Doppelgilly, like, relocked this door or anything, just froze it over. So once you get through the, or the 
the ice. I think you can just get through the door. So he froze it on the inside side, so that basically it would be the door and then all of the ice blocking it to make it yeah. as like annoying as possible. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um. I unfortunately thought about it. I'm gonna just roll damage. I, I'm. I'm gonna smite. Um. I've got a fourth level slot. I'm gonna smite at fourth level. Uh. Uh. Thirty-eight damage. Thirty-eight damage bends the door inwards and like shows a tiny bit of the ice that's keeping it melted together and frozen, but it does not break it open. You're not dying again, Chip! Go for another uh, attack. You'd probably hear Chip screaming. I don't think there's any <laughs> words at this point. Nope. Um, does a 20 hit? Yes. I'm going to use a third level smite because uh, it's sort of, this is it. Um, okay, another 20 damage. I think you'll be able to bust a hole enough to where you can see through it finally. Only as much as your dark vision and your light will will allow. So not a lot. You also hear, with all this magic, from behind you, not from in, within this chamber, another... Oh. Well, it's been an honor, Riptide Pirates. That's it. <laughs> that's the end of this. That's capiche. That's kaput. There's two. I, I still have a bonus action. I'm using up literally all of my crap. Like, I can't tell you how much I'm using up all of my crap. It's so unbelievable how much I'm using all my crap. I'm going to quicken spell Misty Step to the other side <laughs> of the fucking stupid hole. I have one attack action left from haste. I'm going to... Can I see anything? It's dark in here as fuck. Chip, yell would, out so I know where you are. You yeah. would be entering the non-magical field. I know, dude. I know. But I wouldn't know it's there. There's a silvery mist that gives a tiny bit of light as soon as you enter. Will you see yourself? <laughs> what? what? I Standing over a struggling and nearly consumed chip uh, and the same creature I described behind I, you. I point at myself and I go, hey, you're me! And then Doppelgillian turns around and goes, no, you're me! And we're fucking <laughs> pointing at each other, pointing like this, pointing like this, pointing, pointing. Um, and then I, I, I go, I'm gonna point you with my sword! And I run, <laughs> run at him, and I stab him with my sword, and I try to spite him, but I can't, because it's stupid fucking bullshit fucking... Does a 26 hit you? Um. I have the shield spell, because I'm a <laughs> dick. And my AC is 20 billion. Because I have all of your stuff, and looking at you, you have 1 HP. You have 1 <laughs> HP, real Gillian. You look so fucked. You have barely any skin. You have holes all over in you. You are covered in blood. You're, you, you have not, you're going to die. Wait, it was really his skin? Yeah! It was <laughs> my skin! What the fuck? That's right, it was his skin. Gillian has blotches all over, missing a lot of skin. What the he looks so fuck? bad, he, like, he actually looks so fucked. He looks so hey, fucked. Hey, DM, can we quick load? <laughs> <laughs> This went so bad. Dude. Why is it always me? Why is it always me that's the evil like me in reflection? <laughs> this is a, it's like the fourth time this has happened. So you don't actually hit because of shield? I can't because of shield. Yeah, if I'm playing Doppelgillian, they can't use actually... shield because of the anti magic. Yay! I hit Doppelgillian with a 26. That's so. Thank you so much, DM, for saying that. Oh my god. <laughs> it was funny to see you like feel how it feels fight against you. Yeah, it was frustrating <laughs> immediately. Is that why you waited, you motherfucker? Um, <laughs> So, I do 11 damage with Destiny's Blade. Double Gilly is not as, uh, sturdy. Hold on. Thank God! And actually, thank the Leviathans. They're sort of like Argon- OH NO! <laughs> <laughs> he's is that all you, you got? got? Wait, Wait, stop! Stop, stop saying, saying what I'm stop saying! saying. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Double Gilly has 62 hit points. That was so fucking fun. <laughs> See, this is like the worst- This is genuinely like the worst shit. I'm gonna have like survivors- I'm gonna have survivors guilt in the fact that Nothing really bad except for getting blown up twice has really happened. Dude, you to gotta me. understand that thing abducted me. I woke up on a fucking meat hook with one HP. Oh, you got like, it you was got like dead by daylight. I guess I got dead by daylight. Or like, or yeah. like you got, or maybe maybe it was Texas Chainsawed. They did steal your skin, literally. So it is more Texas Chainsaw, I guess. Yeah, that's some pretty Texas Chainsaw shit. Sub round chip. I'll let you go first again. We're gonna try Fireball one more time. You can't. You can't. No magic. We're gonna... Die. <laughs> so, the two options I have are to deal damage to the tongue or to break out of it with a check, right? Yeah. Or is it just the damage? What's the check? Your athletics or acrobatics versus their strength, as normally as grapple to I'd like to use my acrobatics to try and wriggle out of here. 
You're gonna beat a 15. What's your acrobatics? Section of the bat. I have plus three to my acrobatics. Okay? What? Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna roll the riptide die. Dude, just lie. We gotta save this. <laughs> 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 no lies. Seven. <laughs> no. Teen. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> 17! Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Plus three, 18, 19, 20! Sails are through the roof, dude! Yeah! Let's go! You're a fucking skeleton. It certainly has so much to wrap around right now, so I guess being undead in this, in this incident is helping you. You uh, maneuver in such a way to where you're able to free yourself from being restrained and grappled moments from being fucking eaten and, like, dead, dude. Dead. I swear to God, on its turn, you are gone. Like, that was it, dude. Okay, so you're free. Now what do you do with your turn? Wriggle away! Okay? Wait, so you ran away? No, I did not trigger a fucking attack of opportunity. There's a reason I put him there, unfortunately. You're a piece of shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I know. So if I disengage, I can't take, uh, attack of opportunity, right? Usually. What? Oh, do you have a thing? Oh, uh, you have fucking... Does that, does that counteract that? Yeah, it does. It's even if they take disengage, yeah. But he can't smite you. No, he can't. And he doesn't actually have a sword either. Like, he, he doesn't have- he doesn't have a weapon. I feel like that should have been, like, important. It is important. It's why he hasn't, like, stabbed anyone. The nice thing about all this is that Gillian's whole thing is built around him, like, attacking with a fucking sword. So he doesn't have a sword, so he's kind of, like, doing what he can right now to just lock down. Okay. I will disengage so that the other thing can't get me. That's smart, and that's really smart, yeah. I will use my movement to get around Doppelgilly. I'm on the other side, ah. but I'm still in range. No opportunity attack. You see Doppelgilly like does this, like sees if you flinch. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't flinch. <laughs> Pulls his fucking hand up. I pull my hand up and you hear, like Lego pieces, my bones. What? Dude, you got arthritis bad. Take a step back. You'd like that, wouldn't Boy. you? Back off, man, back off. Looking awful silly, Doppelgilly. What did you just You say? heard me. <sighs> What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Real Killian taps you, dude. Too far. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fucking turn is it anyway? It's the creature. I can't. I can't. I can't delay it anymore. It's the creature. Ah! We're dead. Is this the same thing I saw in the helmet room? Uh, yes. And not only that, it smells like the same combination of that um collector from Onoma. Oh, like that oh. mix between something fiendish and something undead. Okay. Something different. Great. Sinister. Far more sinister. Hey, Chip, I think this thing might be bad news. Yeah, man, I think so too. <laughs> I mean, what made you, what gave you that idea? Dude, look, we match now. I have no skin. It hurts so bad. Hype! One to two, real Gilly. Three to four, Chippy. Gilly. Shit, could be either one. I don't have AC also, he has my Oh armor. my god, how did that happen? Is it- does his armor go away? Is his armor magical? His armor? Yeah, like does it no, soft mode? I mean like, it- <laughs> it- it would be stuck in hard mode. The magic is just going from soft to hard. Hey, you said it, not me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming, um, yeah, that- that definitely hits. Uh, Riptide dice rolled into S16. Just don't eat him. <laughs> Who is- who's getting targeted? Real Gilly. Fuck. So, this is gonna hit you, and it's gonna do enough damage, you only have 1 HP. So, essentially, Death Ward's gonna activate again. Yep. And you're going to get, uh, grappled by the tongue. Lost the Death Ward, I'm at 1 HP again. You feel yourself going conscious, and then immediately the spell kicks in again. And, um, that would mean it's Jay's turn. With your movement, Jay, you can get all the way back down to the floor and see, you can hear what's going mm -hmm. on, and you can tell that it's coming from the Arcane Lab and it is frozen over with like a hole in the ice. But I can't, I can't door, be like, like just at the door, yeah. I'm not able to be at the door. Even if you are at the door, it's still like blocked. That's fine, but it, But it, yeah, I say you can get to the door. Okay, that changes everything. Can I see inside? Gillian has his light on. Can I see Gillian? Gillian doesn't have his light on because of the dispel Fuck. magic. Anti-magic field. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It doesn't work on, um, on artifacts. So I actually would have it. Okay, then... Uh, I say you can see where Gillian is, and you can see that he is, like, moments away from death. Yep, and I have no skin. He has a lot of missing skin. Well, okay, what can I see with- with- You can see whatever is around Gillian. Uh, two Gillians. Uh -huh. a chip. And a chip. Chip is also, uh, moments away from dead. Uh -huh. And a fucking insane looking monster. Yeah. And you hear, um, from the second floor stairs that lead up to this one, uh, more of that, those growling. 
I actually completely forgot about that part of the equation, which is also really bad. I run up to the door, I drop everything. I look in and I see Skin the Skillion. He has skin, but there's like, like a, a lot, lot of missing, of missing skin. <laughs> you know, missing, missing skin. He's, he's not just missing skin. Okay? He's missing some skin, so he's missing skin. He's missing skin Gillian. And I see Chip, and I see a second Gillian. I'm like, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, hey, Chip, hold out for a second, okay? Doing what I can in here. It's okay, Jay. Just go downstairs to where all the bodies are and put yourself on a hook. I should fucking <laughs> shoot you. Like right now. You that should would be actually shot. be pretty helpful. No, because what would be most helpful right now, I think, is this. And I'm going to uh, vortex warp Gillian out here. I'm not in the anti-magic field. No, but the spell can... Can it not do it? It literally says spells, spells and other magical effects that target a creature or object in the sphere have no effect on that target. Eighth level magic took, taken from your father, who was a very powerful vice admiral. Okay, then yeah, I'm gonna shoot fucking fake Gillian, I guess. I'm not worried about making noise at this point, so... Don't point your gun at me, Jay! I'm the hero here! Natural 20! Ah! <laughs> yeah, they definitely hit. That's a 31. Um, He's already taken damage, so we're gonna do a lot of damage here, okay? Good luck hitting my armor, Jay. Oh, it's coming directly at my face and my forehead and actually between my eyes. 30 30 damage with that shot. Uh, and the second one, I'm actually gonna try to shoot Gillian free. And I'm gonna call a sharpshooter on this. Right, trying to sever the tongue. That's just gonna be a 10. No, a 10 will not hit the tongue. Fuck. You fire off two shots, dealing huge damage to Doppelgilly, but nothing to this terrifying creature. And it is now Doppelgilly's turn. One to two is, is Gilly, three to four is Chibo. It's Chibo! Yeah, what you said really made Double Gilly upset. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling silly? He's going to, um, would you let me, like, break off a piece of, like, the Leviathan bone or something or use it as a weapon, or should I just fucking punch him in the head? Uh, that would be a direct, like, no-no as far as the order is kind of implanted into your memory, right? So, no. Yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. Um... Any sort of implement or anything around. No matter what, it'd be like an improvised weapon either way. You know what? Whatever. I'll just fucking punch him in the head. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. First punch in the head is a natural 20. Are you serious? Gillian uh, <laughs> says, You're silly, but don't worry. I'll bring you back sillier. And he um, hits you with absolutely the wildest fucking, like, craziest uh, uh, uppercut that you've ever been hit with in your life. Uh, you take 10 damage. Um, that's kind of it. Uncanny dodge. So, five. I'm gonna do that again. Uh, and he, he's gonna go to punch you in the face. He's a 27 hit. Um, take another five damage. I mean, the good news is he can only do that much. After I get punched? Jay's just like standing outside the... Uh, yeah, you can. You hear me, you see the me. The thing, right? Jay, Jay, are you are you outside? Yeah, Chip. Make sure Gillian gets out of here, okay? Jay, just make sure Chip makes it out alive. I don't care what happens to me. Wait, is that real Gillian or fake Gillian? Jay, listen to me. Fuck this guy. I'm as real Gillian, pointing at fake Gillian. Make sure he gets Ch out. Fuck. <laughs> Chip's been through enough. This is his quest. Getting to the hole in the sea, finding Arlen, all of it, we're almost here. I won't let you throw that away right away as we're knocking at its door. Now it, it is real Gillian's turn. I'm gonna kill myself now, and I turn over to fake Gillian, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna st stab him uh, with a sword. Uh, it's a 17. I'm gonna try again. That's a 19. That's another fucking... Okay. I have one haste action left. Do you allow me, like I did it for Jason, try and rip the fucking pin off myself? I uh, yes. I'm gonna try, reach out, grab the fucking pin. It's an option object interaction to grab it, an action to like use it, right? Yeah, it's an action. To click it's an action to click it. Gillian ties trigger, please. Oh my god, I got an eight, so a 17. Roll again. You tied. What? Please! That's if I rolled worse, I got a four, dog. No. Shit, my fucking ass. Since we have the same bonus, just just tell me what you rolled. I should you not. Roll again. What? <laughs> no, no fucking way. So no fucking, fucking serious. You're no, dude. you're actually bullshitting me. You're genuinely I'm bullshitting not. me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm That's not, so I'm funny. Not. That's another four. Oh, we're so fucked. 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 I rolled a two. 
You succeed. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I haven't touched it. I swear to God. I'm taking a photo. I'll send you the four and the two. God, those are those are such cool looking dice, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no other dice would have given me that win, I'll tell you what. I grabbed the fucking stupid fucking dumbass bullshit pin motherfucking thing. I used my haste action to to turn that dog off. To turn that dog off. It's off. Psh, I get to use an action. I look at Chip. I look at Jay. She shot us so she can see us, which means she can see, which means we can see her. And I go, Chip, it's time to go. And I put my hands on Chip, my helping hands specifically, and I cast Misty Step out the hole. We're out of this bitch. Goodbye. Can you do that? Is that a bonus action like Quicken Spell? Quicken Spell. Right. That's what that's. The only information that was missing. Yes! <laughs> that is a key piece of info that I didn't say, but I say it now. Because I had a bonus action and I just needed to get the pin for it to work. Yeah, baby! So it works. We he does it. He does it. When you use helping hands, no. The fact that your hands were skewered by a hook has fucked with the item. You motherfucker. You use this last charge. Roll a d20. There's a chance it just breaks, is what I'm getting here. 14. In this fucking play, both of you bamf out, out of this room. The three of you are on the other side of the ice. We're moving from a combat initiative to a chase initiative. Where are you going? Elevator. <laughs> Elevator. I'm now realizing, I said I used helping hands. Do I have helping hands as Gillian? I'll roll, hold on. Oh, okay, roll. Okay. There's I, a chance that like, wanna, they took wanna, your armor I, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. I don't want to like be like, oh I roll, shit. Okay, I, roll, I rolled a two. Swear to God, roll a two. I'm going to say that you had helping hands. Uh, I'm going to say you had some stuff that was in like your uh, underclothes. Like um, like your, like whatever was in like the pockets of your clothes and stuff. And I'm just going to, they're just, I'm just going to assume because I rolled a two that the helping hands didn't come off as like, take that shit. You know what I mean? They got the gauntlet, they got the sword, blah, blah, blah. It's not like these, uh, Doppelgangers plus creatures are that intelligent, basically. It's a very cool play, and uh, honestly, I don't want you guys to die. So let's just uh, let's just. Say I don't want to die either. Made... I just I just realized, and I wanted to be yeah, honest yeah, yeah. about it. Okay. You know, so it's like okay. I'm gonna say because we've entered new initiative, we're gonna reroll initiative. I'm I'm happy to reroll. I'm happy to reroll. Oh guys, by the way, Kuba Kent is downstairs. What? <laughs> Why what? not? <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait, what? We you crushed him into like a million. Oh, we did find out he comes back to life. Fuck. Yeah, he got a new coat. And is he like cool right now? Like, is he chill or is he like regenerating or is he like? No, he's in like a cage. What? I don't know. <laughs> we need to go. This is a nightmare. Elevator. Pick these up, please. The the tablets and tube. Just help me. One one each. Yeah, sure. Hey guys, by the way. That guy's me, so he can teleport, and the other guy's me in a shadow, so he can teleport, so- Wait, you haven't killed him? So he's still alive? Fuck! <laughs> the one thing I DM Charlie was like, you gotta make sure this fucking double <laughs> kill doesn't survive. Holy shit. Disaster. We didn't have a fucking choice in there, dog. I don't know if you saw what we saw, but there was no option. You're missing your armor and stuff as well now, right? I assume that I'm missing basically everything, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so you guys are running to the elevator. You don't know where it goes. You only know it goes down. Okay, so for initiative, we have Jay at 18, Chip at 18, and... Gillian at eight. There's just no way this elevator leads out, right? This elevator definitely leads down into the worst place, and trust me when I say it is the worst place. Surely it's closer to the ground floor and doesn't have a terrible monster between us and the ground floor. It's real bad. Chip and Jay. Yeah. You get the you start running a bit quicker than Gillian. So basically he's behind you. And you're leading the way into the other laboratory across this uh common area on the third floor. With it dashing. Because you guys can dash in a chase scene equal to your modifier, your con modifier, without taking exhaustion. Uh, and because you can do that, both of you can dash far with that, you're able to make it to the elevator. Gillian will be able to as well, but Doppelgilly goes before you. Fuck you, Doppelgilly. So does the beast. They're trapped behind the eyes right now. Just because we get a head start, I might hold off at the door to the other lab, if that makes sense. Okay, what are you holding off? Uh, to make sure Gillian is, like, with us 
and doesn't fucking perish here. I will guard Gillian with my life at this moment. All right, in that case, I'm going to say that you guys make it to the elevator together and you hear at the exact same moment that you make it to the ele elevator, the ice that was blocking the door breaks open and you hear numerous of those low growls coming into this laboratory. So I'm assuming that you hit the elevator and start going down. Before the elevator starts moving, once you all arrive, you hear yourself being chased. Um, and Gillian, you know that these things can appear and, and reappear uh, uh, in, in like warping around. As the elevator starts to descend, who knows where, uh, give me your best like scary, like the shining uh, doppelgilly yeah, you know, he's like, he says I'm coming in the shining, whatever. Can you do that? Because okay, you hear okay, that from okay. above at the entrance of the elevator. <laughs> Wait up, friends! I'm coming! <laughs> Stas, would you hear as you descend? So we have to we have to kill D Double Gilly before we leave. He's growing on me. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> we could always use a new crew member. You think we can, like, convince them, like, become bros with Double Gilly? <laughs> We don't know have like a fucking try. Scott Pilgrim ending where you just you befriend Nega Scott. Like. Guys, that's a great idea. There can only be one. <laughs> what light are you using? Are you using Destiny's Blade and, and and Hot Mode or no? Oh, I'm using Hot Mode. I'm using Destiny's Blade for sure. Yeah. Can I in this moment drink out of the Everfall glass? Do we have a moment of respite here, or is it literally just like the elevator is going down pre pharmacy? This is a yeah. This is definitely a break in like a chase. Yeah. Holy fuck. Okay. I'm giving myself 30 points of lay on hands for fucking sure. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. I give myself 30 points of lay on hands, but bam. Do we have like one one action basically for this respite? Uh, yeah. As you continue descending, the elevator shakes for a moment. Moment. You feel something like rattling the wires uh, that it is attached to. If I rolled higher than a 10, it was going to snap. And... I rolled a seven. All right. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. This elevator lands on, after a good chunk of time, on the ground, and you emerge into a small square room with a ton of levers and switches, some sort of control room, and you still don't see a way out from here. Jay, you know Navy stuff. Which one of these opens uh, everything? the door? We want to go out and... Uh... Did you say everything? <laughs> yeah, I did say everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay! Uh, I'm just going to start pulling <laughs> levers and pushing buttons then. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. No, no. I, didn't, I, no, 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 I, meant, no. I was just like... You said it. You said everything. You said everything. Everything is in like, which one opens everything like ends the lockdown. That's... <laughs> I mean, if, I'm done, if you're going to do that, I mean, fuck it, I guess. But I, I was going to like look <laughs> first and see if they label shit like normal human beings oh dude i totally heard no if, <laughs> if i was here i'm in this situation i've got one hp irl and i say which opens it and you go everything i absolutely no it makes total sense you start flipping all the switches in a panic jay before you even get the chance like, gillian is crazy like this is nothing different <laughs> um and all of a sudden uh, the lights in here turn on and you hear a loud siren oh that's good and you start to hear as things begin to power on and open up. Alien, why? And it is a deafening siren now. And at the same time, there's numerous screeches when all the lights turn on. Uh, just <laughs> like layered out throughout everything, but they're kind of muffled because you're deep under the facility. Your only way back is up, but getting the sense that the lights and everything just powered on here, it might have changed the entire stronghold uh, and also created a lot of sound. A lot of problems. <laughs> this is this is the time to leave. So, uh, what's the next step? We have to go back up the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Why are you letting me go? <laughs> They're all gonna be waiting for us up there. It's, this is fucking real life right now, bro. Okay, guys, everybody pile on. Let's go back up the elevator. <laughs> I'm with that. What else is down here? Is that it? Uh, there's like. Um, eh, like, like pipes and wires, no screens, uh, electrical circuits and all kinds of stuff just kind of in this one room. Listen, I'm gonna say something really sus. Is there an event? Both of you can make investigation checks. You should just help me do investigation. I got a 20, so I mean, I don't know, man. That's a good call. I got a, uh, 17. I see there- <laughs> there is a vent. <laughs> But there's intense heat coming from it. Fuck! Do I see any other rooms? Any other way out? Mm. 
It's a very secret room. Yeah, is there a switch that says uh, heater slash furnace slash... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I would, I would like to see, you know, I guess with my investigation check, if there's no way out, if I could use that to look at the switches, see what the fuck they actually are. I just feel like if we go right back up the elevator... We die. These switches, uh, most of them are, like, controlling the different... It's like a giant breaker room. It's controlling the power of the doors, uh, different like magical traps, and just general like power within the facility. So the switches that Gillian have just like turned on from what you can see at a quick glance, he just turned on the giant like the the siren. Um, so everyone in this entire island will be hearing this right now, and uh, a lot of the power and a lot of the different door buttons. Did the okay. uh, so like the lockdown has ended, but the alarms are on. <laughs> basically, I'm gonna turn. Off the alarm. You can do that if you want. I feel like they won't be able to. Not hearing us is like a good you, thing. They they are pretty. Yeah. Okay. I turn it back on. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. All the power should be on. Okay. So you just help like flip more stuff on. Yeah. Fuck it. Gosh, is there like a trap? Like a really loud trap somewhere far away from where we have to go that you can activate? You can't activate any of the traps remotely because they're kind of set. With different like conditions, like you know, stepping on them and, and pulling shit and whatnot. Um, but you can make sure that the like front entrance that you came in is open when you get there. Yes, that that. Okay, guys, important choice: super hot, crazy, hurtful event, or back up the elevator. Up, up. This might be our last chance of calm, so make sure you're fully ready before continuing on. There are no saves beyond this point. <laughs> I guess if we've got the opportunity here, this is kind of like the final fucking push. So I'm gonna cast, um, I'm gonna cast aid at fifth level. So every everyone's max HP and current HP increases by twenty. I've got another fifth level slot left, and fighting these things isn't gonna do shit, so I'm gonna cast Death Ward on myself again. <laughs> uh, I can't heal Chip, because Chip is unhealable. Unlovable, unhealable. What a nightmare. I'm gonna use one action to cast Cure Wounds on... What's your health like, Gilil? I look a lot better than I did. Um, okay, I'm gonna use it on you anyways. Can I just do a quick perception up to see if they seem like they're right there. Yeah, you can roll perception. Okay, thank you. I'm already assuming you're on the way up because you're casting all these spells. 15. Uh, with that, we've seen nothing so far. That's nothing you see. You only hear the sirens. You can't even hear the low growling sound anymore. So you don't see anything. You don't hear anything. And there's a lot more light. So visibility is, is clear. You're not seeing shit. So you start going up and you guys get back to the third floor eventually, and it's now back to the same initiative, 18, 18, 8, 8 for Gillian, 18 and 18 for Jay and Chip, so Jay and Chip, you guys are up first. What do we, what do we see, what do we see? You just see the laboratory, you don't see anything. Nobody else? Okay. Bet. Then dashing, running, running. Running. So you have the dash action a number of times, 3 plus your constitution modifier. Okay, so I, I do 7. Uh, and then if you want to do even more, you just make constitution checks. Um, I'm chilling, I don't want to go too far. I only have 4 then, because I only have plus 1 to constitution. God damn. I have a bonus action dash, can I use that? Uh, yeah, you get an extra dash for that. So five dashes, seven dashes. You, you, both of you use the max. And Gillian, how many dashes do you use on your turn? I've got seven too, but let me know if I see a uh, doppelgillian anywhere. Yeah, roll, roll perception. Nineteen. I'm also keeping an eye out. You don't see doppelgillian anywhere in this laboratory right now. Did Gillian grow skin back when you heal? Yeah. It would like. Oh yeah, it like like mend it and stuff. Wish I could do that. Yeah, if only you could be like truly healed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. So you guys start. You start bolting. Uh, all of you make it through the laboratory and you make it down the ladder of the third floor. You're now in the second floor common area and you're almost up to uh, that next ladder leading back to the first floor. Um, Chip, just roll a deck save. You're good at those. He's good at that. He's good at that. He's good at that. 15. Chip, you see in the top corner, right as you guys are about to start descending, um, there's darkness in that corner and a tongue suits out from it. It looks like it's hiding and trying to stay away from most of this like bright fucking light in all of the vicinity now. Basically, it's overwhelmed. It's not producing enough darkness to beat everything out that's going on right now, right? It really is Amnesia the Bunker Rules. <laughs> oh my god. I should have seen that coming. Um, like, I should have thought that. <laughs> right? Because you were playing the music non-stop. But the tongue, the tongue attaches to your uh, to you to your wrist your ankle and you are grappled you take 22 points of necrotic damage again ouch don't even feel it don't even feel it don't even feel it no i don't feel anything anymore uh, the two of you guys see this it's only that one creature here right now it's the top of the round again uh vortex warp on chip get him out bring him down 
Get him over here. You just won't be able to dash, so you're that's gonna start fine, lagging That's fine, that's fine. I have more dashes than Chip does. And I also would like to keep my eye out as well for double Yuli. Okay, roll perception. 29. You warp Chip, are you trying to warp him? How far does it go? Are you trying to uh, warp him down all the way at the bottom of the ladder? Yeah, I basically want to like bring him down to me. I get, it has a range of 90 feet, and I can put them anywhere in that feet or that space. Uh, probably ahead of me a bit, and then... And then you're going to... Keeping an eye out for... Yeah, double gilly and move as much as I can with using that action uh, to not dash. Your perception check was 29. You don't see him yet. Okay. Can I- <laughs> you fucking hear him laughing on the first oh, floor he's, somewhere. Oh, he's down there. Okay. Um, <laughs> and you also hear with the 29, because you're so observant, you hear the sound of that drawbridge that connects this stronghold to across the moat is like raising Fuck. <laughs> and that's why he's laughing. So, uh, Chip, you would see the exit now and you see the light because the door is open. Uh, and you have see you see it through the crack. Uh, no, it's not the crack anymore because of the fucking, oh yeah, yeah, because the door is fully open now. There's just the helmet and the portable hole <laughs> <and it's> sort <laughs> of offset. Uh, and then you see the light and you see G Gilly and Do Double Gilly's uh, fucking silhouette being backlit by the gray skies of the Jesus outside Christ. world. Dude, let's stuff him in the hole. Let's stuff him in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's Gillian's turn. I'm going to do all my dashes and... Or did uh, Chip, yeah, Chip, did, I'm assuming you're I'm dashing. I'm dashing, dashing yeah. Can I get close to him with five dashes? No, I'm insane. Okay, no. I'm okay, insane. okay. Not within like melee range. Bet. I'm in a hot mode. I'm gonna do big, big gilly dash. Uh, and when I get downstairs, I guess I'll grab the portable hole if I can. Yeah, you can do that on the way. And now you'll be ahead of Chip because you had more movement. Can I get to doppel gilly? Uh, within melee range? No, but don't worry because he's coming for you. <laughs> um, okay, so doppel gilly is gonna go for real gilly as an attack. Give me your life! Give me your life! He's got some kind of weapon, okay? I don't know what it is at the moment because it's really late right now but he's got a fucking weapon he's yelling give me your life uh and he's going to rush towards uh normal gilly and take an attack do you want to roll it do you want me to so roll he it? has just like a random okay he's a random weapon i'm just gonna roll it uh he got a 27 to hit absolutely is <laughs> double, <laughs> double gilly why um he probably smites but so whatever whatever the random damage is add jesus fuck i rolled so high at 33 at 33 you did you are your own worst enemy 43 total damage <laughs> <laughs> or three total damage. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'll play him like I'd play Gillian. So, second attack. Here we go. Same thing. Prophetic screw up. 18 to hit. hit <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Uh, 18, 18 to hit. Um, absolutely hits me. I only have 11 armor, so I can't shield it. Uh, he's going to smite again at fourth level. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm just... This is what he'd do. Yeah. <laughs> this is what my character would do, dude. <laughs> this is what my character would do, but, like, in the most reverse. Okay, add 19. Add 19 to whatever your damage is. Uh, same thing. So, 29. Okay, I take another 29 fucking damage. Uh, he looks at me and his eyes begin to glow. <laughs> <laughs> his hair Please. begins to stick. Stand Please, up as, as Double Gilly uses prophetic screw up. Actually, I don't think Double Gilly can do this. Double Gilly really? is not divine. No, Double okay. Gilly is it not starts, divine. It starts to glow. And then he says, "Killing you is the last piece." Um, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and he he uses quick and spell glacial blade because that's what I would do. Um, and he rolls the hit, and if, uh, he only rolls a thirteen, which uh, would hit. I'm going to use shield. <laughs> I've got you now. No, you don't. Shield. Oh shit. I I forgot I could do this. <laughs> Block the last one. We're all good. Double Gilly's turn is fucking over. Thank God. Okay. Double Gilly, when it's weird, because when Double Gilly's smiting, it's not like this bright golden holy light. It is fucking sinister, dark, and it's it's like evil Gillian aura like kind of shit. It's really gross. Yeah, Double Gilly just did like 70 damage to me, by the way. So like, I'm not looking yeah, too no, great. You, <laughs> but, yeah, no, uh, you... It's impressive you're alive at all, honestly. Listen, I knew this was coming. <laughs> Jay's running down. Running it down mid. Also running. I'd like to get to Doppelgillian. I'd like to stab I him. I just want to make sure that Jay gets, like, to the other side of the door that is being held open by a helmet still by some sheer... It's actually just open, open. Oh, right. Gillian, press oh, thank God. I'm going to pick up the helmet. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> pick up the fucking helmet, bro. Both of you can get to where Doppelgilly and Gilly are having a altercation, <laughs> and you can and Jay can get further. I'm in. I don't think I can really do much else. I'm going to use my uh, bonus action. Is it tight? Like, does she have to run past Doppelgilly? No? Uh, no, not in this. It's a common area, so okay, she cool. doesn't have to. She good, doesn't good, want good, to. Good, good. It's going to be 12 temporary hit points to everybody. Yay! Except for Doppelgilly. That... Fuck you. We don't have the peace treaty like that, that one guy who's okay, okay, okay. right now. No double gilly, no double gilly. <laughs> Come on, I'm one of your friends. It affects Gillian, right? I'm Gillian. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. You're not real. This isn't like 
witnessing a nightmare version of yourself in a dream. It's really like it's looking just at Gillian. It's so unsettling. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> I'll be sure to send the real Jay your regards. Running up, using my action to attack Doppelgilly. Uh, is there a way that I could I'm going to eat you attack him non-lethally and just knock him out? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> Why would you do, that? do we really want to do we want to open this can of worms? I don't think I can hit him. I'm going to eat you now. I'm just gonna roll it. We gotta fucking see. Don't bother. My AC is 20 okay, billion. So that one didn't do it. Nope. Okay, I use that and now that I've attacked him do I have to hit him to get around him with this? Do you have to hit me? Nope, just make a- just make the attack. It doesn't say you have to hit. Okay, yeah, then you can fancy for workout. the it. attack, I get the fuck out, I go. Uh, you're only gonna make it like 10, 10 ish more feet because of your movement and getting up there. Gillian! Gillian! What?! You need to put him in the hole! <laughs> I need to put him in the hole?! Yeah! Actually, wait, that's an awesome idea, put him in the hole. He's not gonna get in the- You know, double Gilly, get in the hole. Uh, roll persuasion, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Disadvantage? <laughs> Disadvantage? Yeah. Okay, what about this? Hey, Double Gilly, it's your destiny to get in the hole. Okay, roll it normal. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> 25. <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight. What's your insight? Is Gillian plus one? How does Double Gilly <laughs> jump in the fucking porthole? Like, how does it make this make, this make sense, dude? <laughs> Double Gilly looks at you, looks at his crewmates that he loves so much, and uh, <laughs> says, I knew you'd come around eventually, and just dives into the <laughs> hole head first. And he'll just burst out within 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Yeah. Or he'll yeah, suffocate. Yeah, or he'll suffocate. <laughs> So. He'll just suffocate in ten minutes. So okay, so so the the, the way is open, but uh, uh, so, and and because nothing is directly chasing you, you hear like the growls and stuff. But you can definitely tell that like uh, this siren mixed with the light is preventing uh, them from chasing you. Make it all of you are going to make it out of the door now that you've dealt with fucking double Kelly. Go go go. And uh, the drawbridge is still raising up. And the mechanism on this side is like out of control. Like it's going to take some serious fucking strength to stop it. Uh, like it's been, like like a chain has been cut or, or what have you. So it's like spinning uh, backwards, and then the the, the 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 bridge is just rapidly raising up. Hey, Chip, still got that ten foot pole? <laughs> you know I do. Let's dock. <laughs> we dock. Why? We dock. And we want to do a 20 foot pole vault. Wait, hold on. How wide is a moat? If we can go fast enough. No way, it's 120 feet. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Listen, if we pole vault, we just need to make the next 100 feet. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to say it's at least 30 feet wide of a moat. Okay. So the bridge was 30 20 feet. 20 foot pole, 30 feet. Easy. That's 40 feet that you can make with the pole vault. Both of you, roll athletics, please. Fly, my friends. I fist bump chip. And we're at the end of this 20 foot pole. We run to the edge of the bridge, plant that shit, and go fucking soaring. Here we go. Let's roll the dice. My bones rattle through the air. I got a three. You fucking failed. Chip the riptide roll. die rolled me a 15. Plus two, 17. You needed a 15 because the 20 foot pole made it a little easier to do, and you still somehow, Gillian, fucking slipped <laughs> off. I use magical guidance! Are you <laughs> fucking joking me, dude? Dude, are you serious right now? I've gone from a three to a four. You're two away, you're two away, you're two away, you're two away. Here's what I'm gonna say I'm fucked, I'm actually dead. You can either not make it slip and begin falling into the lava moat or and you're gonna fall like 500 feet instantly right because that's how falling works <laughs> okay <laughs> something okay. crazy like that okay so option a is instant <laughs> is <that> death <laughs> got it what's option b uh the second option is let go of the portal hole with java gilly to make it all the way dude you know what you got to do here right you gotta fall. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I actually unironically completely agree. I look down at the hole, I look down at the lava, and I say, <laughs> Everyone deserves a second chance, and I let go of the balls. <laughs> Does the hole make it across safely at least? No, he's holding it. <laughs> hey, wait, Jay, you have feather fall, right? I can cast that as a reaction. Yeah, I cast that as a reaction, so it slows yeah! his fall. So instead of falling, 
500 feet or whatever it is. It's fucking crazy. Immediately, you start <laughs> slow falling. Um, and that's the round. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go. <laughs> I'll never let go. Jay, what are you doing? Uh, Jay is going to cast fly with her action and fly across and grab Gillian out of the air, I guess, as he's slowly. And you're still holding. No, no, you have both hands still holding everything if you want to carry it. Oh, all. you have so much stuff. That's so true. It's my turn, too. I can. I have a rope. I can just throw you it. You have a 20 foot pole, actually. That you actually, can just... I have a pole. I have a 20 foot pole. I use the pole. <laughs> so, like, poke it at me, dude. Grab on, dude. Grab on, man. Okay, you make it across. Um, really flying easily. And you start. You see that from the from this distance because you're still observing you have a really high passive perception um you can see all the way quite it's quite a distance right you didn't have to to move a lot to get just to the base of the stronghold you see your crew right now is fighting off a horde of hollow at your ship right now so it is it is a it is a dire situation you guys need to get there oh shit we gotta go well, hang on did it work with the pole uh if you're feather falling are you just like super light so you can just grab onto the pole and, and uh choose up to five creatures they descend slow uh, creature lands. It didn't say that they're weightless, right? No, it doesn't. So I'm gonna say that, uh, Chip, make a strength check. Stop wiggling it around! Let me grab it! My bones keep rattling! Five. Five? I have no muscles! Your strength is imaginary um, now. Probably after Gillian's turn, he's gonna land in the lava. <laughs> <laughs> I'll persuade Double Gillian to carry me across. Why the fuck? I, no, okay, so for one, I just watched Jay holding stuff in her arms, look down at Gillian falling into the lava, <laughs> look at the stuff in her arms, and keep going? She casted a spell that made him start falling slowly. I don't- I don't have an action right now. Give me another turn, man. You just- you're holding like a scroll and Gillian's falling holding, into lava. She had to bamf her fucking spectral, mystical, magical wings out to get across, dude. I saved him. I used Featherfall. He's fine. Probably. <laughs> I don't got this! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, even with Slowfall, you realize you're gonna hit the lava pretty soon. But then... Have you guys ever seen a water bucket clutch? <laughs> there is no fucking way. I put my hand down um, and I cast wall of water in a straight line from where I am to where the lava ends. And then I swim in it like a fish. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah! Like, no, I, don't know. I, can't even, I can't even think about why that wouldn't work, and I don't want to. We've allowed that previously in the past. I need more spells. I was gonna say, you create a wall of water on the ground. I mean, what's lava, really, but molten rock? If if you're asking me, right? Rock is pretty close to the ground. How high is the, uh, how high can the wall of water reach? Uh, 10 feet high. Right, okay, you can't get to the top because it's more than 10 feet deep. So you can swim in the water, the wall of water, to f prevent yourself from hitting the lava, but you're still not on the top of the other side. If that makes try sense. with the pole again. It's really funny to me, because I know for a fact that Gillian has misty stuff, and he could just misty stuff. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I do a dolphin jump. That's awesome. Um, this is totally, this is just wasting time. Your crew's dying. <laughs> okay. I'm trying okay, to go okay. as fast as I can. I just casted a spell on my turn. I can't cast another one. What do you want from me? I'm like a, a dolphin. All right, if there's no bonus action, Chip and Jay. Chip, start running, please. Just grab the pole. Just grab the pole. Come on. No, I I'll get Gillian. And you go, okay? Our crew is getting fucking attacked right now. Well, come on, we just docked. I don't want to leave him down there. <laughs> it's not good docking etiquette. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. I'll go. You, you don't just dock and dash, Jay. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna dock and dash <laughs> right now. Okay. I don't think you physically can. <laughs> okay, Jay, <laughs> you, you, you fucking start bolting uh, in the air. Yeah, all my dashes in the air to the ship. With your flying speed, I'm gonna say. It's, it's probably gonna be next turn when you actually get to the ship, unfortunately, because it is a distance. So, okay, back to the ship. ship. You're trying to use the pole still. You're gonna have to, like, get over the edge to really reach him now because it's at least 30 feet deep. I hope you guys got this. <laughs> yeah, so he's got 10 feet of water. I've got 20 feet of pole. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, yeah you're right, you're right, you're right. We're, we're good. We're golden. We're golden. One more strength check, Chip. One more Chip. strength, One check. More strength, One strength check. check. I knew you wouldn't dock and dash. <laughs> I grab on, I grab on. I'd never dock and dash. You guys have such good docking etiquette. Eight. I died of lava. Teen. Ah! ah! It never fails. It never fails. <laughs> Buy them now. Buy them now. They're not even on sale. Buy them right Plus now. Plus two. That's twenty. <laughs> Dirty twenty. Twenty is actually what you would fucking need. So like, let's. Yeah, you, Gillen, you can grab onto the pole and ship with like 
Fucking, he's a skeleton. He has, I don't know, I don't know. He's, he's, oh. Bone strength. <laughs> Bone strength. <laughs> Bone strength. With his uh, fucking, like, he like he has he, like, uh, calcium infused bones, has just uh, pulled him up. And you get to the top of the boat, you can start running back towards your ship now. Good stuff. Bone bump. Bone bump. <laughs> I rattle. It's like Lego pieces. Can we do anything on the way, or is it better to just devote all to dashing? Uh, probably just all to dashing. Oh, it's just all to dashing. I just all to dashing. So you get there first, uh, and then sooner, <laughs> soon after, Chip and Gillian catch up. There, are, there are tons of hollowed on your ship. There's, there's, there's tons of hollowed at the dock, and you see Griffin and Queen are just like going at like Queen's uh, sort of uh, on one of the edges of the ship, just like trying to support, and Griffin. Uh, even Dre is kind of like kicking the shit out of some of these hollowed and, and they are just holding it down But they are overwhelmed to the point where like there's a hollowed on your ship. So what do you guys want to do? How'd it go for you guys? No. <coughs> it's been like <sighs> uh, Rough <laughs> What about you? Oh fuck, where's your skin? Oh, I, I gave it to this guy. Uh, open the portable hole. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no, 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 no. I just wanted to do a bit. I wanted to do a bit. It's a bit. <laughs> I just wanted his head to pop out. I wanted his head to pop out. No, but then his lower can come out. Okay, I don't, I don't open the portable hole. We gotta go! Yeah, no shit. Griffin, Queen, Dre, leave the hole to us. Uh, get ready to, to fucking un undock the ship. Hey, uh, Captain. Uh, you hear from Dre as he hops on and starts to help out as best as he can. Same with Griffin and Queen. They have both, they, three of them get to work. Ignis as well. Ignis was also down here with Griffin fucking swinging his fucking sword. <laughs> oh, fuck! Uh, yeah, it was like crazy. Um, what a nightmare. <laughs> way more of them here than there was in all island, honestly, if I could say it. And uh, they started riding the ship. What are you guys doing to rid the fucking hollow? Dog? I put the portable hold down, like, on, on the spot. Um, basically, so that like it's it's sort of rumpled up on itself, and I sort of look around to make sure no one's watching, and I pull out the uh, Avortapoi anchor, um, and I say um, ten thousand pounds, and I drop it on the portable hole so that it can't be opened from the inside. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna suffocate and die. <laughs> Wait, on the ship or outside the ship? Oh, I got shit. the dock. Oh, shit. On the I guess if I did it on the ship, the ship will just explode. Guys, yeah. okay, let me just level with you real quick. Do you want to have to deal with this guy, or do you want me to just, like, suffocate him in a bag? I think it's funny if he just suffocates in a bag, but I also- <laughs> Do you think Gillian would, like, stay in the bag and suffocate to death if he was asked to go in the hole? No? If it was his destiny? No, I don't know- I don't know um... Dude, I'm letting it happen because I don't even want to think of the implications of a second Gillian that is clearly fucking evil and clearly controlled by somebody else out in the world. I think it would be very funny to open the bag to see dead rat Gillian. Here's what I'll say, before you do that, before you do that, just roll a d20 and I'll roll it against you and whoever wins uh, gets to do their thing first. I got a four. I'm fucked. I'm gonna cap fake Gillian. <laughs> you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding, you're kidding. Fake Gillian bursts out of the hole <laughs> as soon as you're getting, like, as soon as you drop it on the ground, boom, he just climbs out of it. <gasps> this is a bad time! We're going back to initiative. Uh, drop a Gillian now has a 15 in initiative. So, uh, top of the round, it, it is now, you're now dealing with Dabagilly and a bunch of horde. Like, a, like, no, sorry, a bunch of hollow, a horde of hollow. I shoot Dabagilly in the head. 25. Shield. <laughs> <laughs> How about, uh, 15? Yeah, okay. Well, you're gonna need to try better than that! How many fucking I shields you do you have? My friends? <laughs> One billion. God damn it, Gillian, I killed you once, I'll do it again! What? <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I'm gonna go down with a smile and fuck you up and change the trajectory of your life! Double Gilly, this is not a fair duel. Get back in the hole. <laughs> he didn't say it was my destiny. It's your destiny, he man. He didn't say it. It's too late. <gasps> my destiny changed. Please? <laughs> 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 actually, actually, Double Gilly, look at this. Do you remember when you gave me this? I pull out the Gillian Tide Strider life deck. How long ago? Yeah. It wasn't that long uh, ago. No, you, there is a new one. The fireball. You pushed Doppelgilly out of the way and took the fireball for him. Oh my god. The fireball. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, the fireball! I saved your life! You did. You did. You owe me a favor. Back in the hole. There's gotta be a roll, but I'm <laughs> so down. But if Chip rolls Persuasion, he's gonna get a 40. He's gonna win. <laughs> like, it's just working, like... I can't hit him, dude! Gillian has... a billion! What should Dupla Gillian roll to... Probably your insight, right? Oh my god, I just rolled a natural 20. Okay. Okay. 26. Alright, well, that's only 21. Alright! Consider- consider the life debt paid. Bet. Bows to you, and, uh, 
trust falls into the hole. What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to deal I, with it right now. Am I like that? Is that what I'm like? Yes. Yeah. Like most of the time. Hell. Okay, somebody deal with the fucking hollow, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I go onto the ship and I stab all the hollow that is on the ship. All of them. <laughs> you have you have like two attacks, so two of them. How many are there? <laughs> like a lot. Do you have any area effects or anything? Maybe you can persuade them to leave the ship. Just uh, roll to hit two times for me. Okay. First one. I rolled a three. Um, eleven. Okay. Um. And then I rolled seventeen. Eleven, seventeen. Um, these hollow are pr fairly like weak in terms of you know hierarchy and just in in in. If for the sake of the rush, I'll say you take at least like four down. Thunder wave level three, as many as I can hit. Nice. Okay, it's good. Fucking motherfucking tidal wave, dog. As many as I can hit. Uh, focusing on hitting the ones on the ship because it pushes them ten feet away if they fail the constitution saving throw. Tidal wave doesn't control water, it just creates it, right? It just creates a fucking wave of water. So I'm gonna try and splat, like, slosh as many off as I can. 30 feet long, 10 feet wide, 10 feet tall, so yeah, it's like the entire boat. It is. What's the save? Uh, dex. Dex. If you just made things so much worse because they're gonna fail all their deck saves. We gotta get all these guys out of here! Got a constitution saving throw for Thunder Whiff, by the way. Does Thunder Whiff hit all of the other people? Like, it was gonna do everything or? on the ship, basically, yeah. You could also, like, have, um, use Thunder Wave here on the docks to clear, like, your path forward, basically. Okay. And, like, clear Griffin and Igneous and stuff. Yeah. That's the goal. Uh, Jay, what does Thunder Wave look like? And Gillian, also, right after, describe how you follow it up with the Tidal Wave. In the midst, as Chip just, like, fucking flips onto the ship, uh, and then starts mowing down these hollowed, while the dead himself. Just fl a bunch, like, there, as he slashes them, they ignite into flame. What does, uh, the Thunder Wave look like from the ducks? What is the difference between me and them? <laughs> you just don't have an AoE, dude. Uh, no, the- I think he- never mind. The hollowed <laughs> that I'm killing. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Nothing. Jay sweeps down. Oh, uh, she's gonna sweep down and basically, like, just, like, in front of her, the magical, magical energy of, like, thunder just kind of fucking sparks out. She kind of sweeps through a bunch of hollowed and, and fucking destroys the fuck out of them. Yeah, so, and as soon as she lands, bam, shockwave, they all just, like, fly off, hit the ship, hit the fucking Black Sea, they disappear, uh, and then you fly back up and you get onto the ship yourself, uh, and then Gillian, what does the tidal wave look like? I pull out the fucking, um, decanter of endless water, and it's just, like, I get like comically blasted back in this huge like fucking shotgun spray um <laughs> as i point it forwards there's impact frames i just go like flying backwards as everyone on the ship just gets blasted with this thing and these hollowed goes like soaring over both sides fuck yes dude um you see everyone is immediately soaked uh it's fresh or it's salt water from the fucking ocean and uh, m pretty much all of the hollowed with this combination with chip on the ship and your tidal wave um and and, and just like your crew sort of embracing themselves for the tidal wave as well uh the hollow gets cleared off and you're able to with Jay's help, clearing the dock, run across the dock and and board the ship too. Get the fuck out of here, please. You start moving back into the trap of the bay where all of those arcane turrets are still uh, 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 pretty much guarding anything entering and exiting. Oh, they're still active? I thought we might have flipped that off somehow. I just slipped right on my ship, so I don't know. Those weren't controlled by buttons and stuff inside of the stronghold. Hey, Griffin. Did you happen to, in that hour you spent looking around the city, find a way to disable the turrets? You're not gonna like the answer. Please say yes. I think these things detect magic and shoot at it. Well, my um, dickhead brother already used the uh, anti-magic field. So. That's only one day, isn't it? He's a dickhead brother now. We're gonna kill him later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Unless you, the three of you, have a uh, giant fucking spell. I got, I got a fire bolt. That's not bigger. He's like rolling inside. You have an infrared laser beam cannon. Not technically magic. If you don't have any big spells left, because you're out of resources, we're just gonna do a group check here. I have counter spell. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not enough. It's I also have. Level two. I also have revivify. That's good. <laughs> Could be helpful. <laughs> hey, queen, we need your crown. <laughs> No, we gave that to you literally today, <laughs> but... Uh, because no one has any big spells left. I have ceremony if anyone wants to atone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe... Oh, I have this wins coin. Okay, so we can either gamble with the wins coin, which I don't know will help much because the wording is confusing, or we can just do a group check. We have one more option. Uh-huh. And I'm not gonna push for or against this one. He says calmly as we're all about to fucking die at it. You also have, um, Doppelgilly. We- we have the deck. Wait. 
Wait, wait. Why would we have to draw from it? <laughs> no, that's that's a disaster. <laughs> Wait, no, we Dude. cannot. We cannot do that. That is the danger. Get him out. Get him out. No, no, that's Get a terrible out. idea. Get him out. No, you know we can do good things too, right? Get him out. Get the cards out. I opened the hole. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna give we're gonna give Doppelgilly three fucking wishes, and he's gonna be he's gonna wish he was real. And I say, Doppelgilly, Gillian. Me, and all of your friends, and all of the Riptide Pirates, that I'm sure you know, and I'm sure you love, somewhere in your mind and in your heart, are about to die, and if you ever wanted to be a hero, all you needed to do was draw a card! DM, can I- am I allowed to, like, forcibly disconnect- <laughs> leave the campaign? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I uh, no, you are not. Um, the most you could do in character right now is, like, tackle Doppelgilly off the ship or, like, try to wrestle the cards out of Gillian. We're gonna die unless you, yes, you, save us! What's wild, though, is that I, I'm pretty sure Doppelgilly has the briefcase of holding, which, or unless the briefcase of holding was on the ship. Actually, I've got them right here. Doppelgilly opens up the briefcase and draws a card. One second, uh, <laughs> I rolled a 29 and a 25 to hit Doppelgilly. <laughs> Doppelgilly uses his last shield and draws two cards now. He had one more shield. The shield get him to 29? Oh my fucking god. Oh you my draw god. two cards. Yeah, yeah. The shield get him to 29? Shield would get him to 28. Okay, I hit him. Can I- does this shot go off before he draws a card? Surely he has time to- No, I'm- I'm putting my foot down. I'm putting my foot down. Surely one card gets drawn. I- I jump in front of the board. <laughs> this is gonna, like, end the campaign, you realize, right? Because- because you know how it works? Charlie, your luck is the worst thing in the world, so Doppelgilly, anti-Gillian, will have the best luck in the world and get the best fucking card he can get. Okay, what's the- the worst possible thing he can get is he can draw the card where he can change, like, any Thing, yeah, right? which is when he replaces me forever. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you you realize that this is maybe a problem? <laughs> you you maybe maybe realize that, that that's a little bit of an issue. Okay. <laughs> roll roll, da roll damage on your shot. Roll damage on your shot. This is what the decides decide. it. Okay. He's got like twenty something HP left, right? He's got like twenty something HP left. That's nine for that. Oh, so he's totally dead. He's not dead, I don't think, actually. Wait, how much did he take? Seventeen. He's not dead. Four HP. Four cards. He can only draw one. He draws 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 one. Come on. Okay. I want you to. I, w I want you to show it so I can read it out loud as him. Please, God. He draws the card. What's the fucking card? He drew the idiot card. What does that do? Which means <laughs> Double Gilly. <laughs> Double Gilly has a, has permanently reduced his intelligence by one d four plus one to one score. I'm <laughs> Your intelligence already fucking garbage. It's eight. Wait, roll it, roll it, roll it. Please let me know what you get. Please let me know. Roll it, roll it. No, genuinely, because this may, this may just make him brain dead forever. Before rolling on D&D Beyond. Oh, I'm, it's I'm, plus I'm praying for four. I'm, I'm praying for four. I think it'd be so funny. Can you roll it on the Riptide dice? Oh fuck, dude, you gotta roll it on the Riptide dice. You gotta, you gotta. Okay, will you trust me with what I say? Yes, every, I do. Yes, I do. Every day I trust you. And even if you lie, I'll love it. Really, with the Riptide dice? Okay. Um, it's one of my favorite ones, a d4, here we go. 1d4 plus 1 inside? Yep. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 it- Oh, it says- it says you can also draw one additional card beyond your declared draws at the end of that, by the uh, way. he definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I rolled a 4, I yeah! fucked you not, dude! He goes yes! from an 8 to a 3 intelligence! I'm pretty sure he's lost the ability to speak, like, full sentences of- <laughs> <laughs> What? Is he drawing another card, dude? Gillian looks up at real Gillian and goes, Bubba another. And pulls out. He can't draw another card, bro. Come on, that's got it. You just leave it at this. No, no, no. This, this, no. This card, this card said he could. If Gillian had three intelligence, he would, without a fucking doubt, immediately draw a card. Pull that shit. This is gonna be so. Oh my god, he pulled the fucking void card. That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This 
This podcast is not real, dude. <laughs> this podcast is not real. What happens? What happens? What happens? Oh god. Can he just become a husk? Like he literally just becomes a body. He should absolutely he should just become he should a body. absolutely become a three intelligence killing husk. Please God on the ship. It doesn't take your body. Okay, so your body is incapacitated. A fucking gillian husk just falls to the ground after the the, the black portal opens up and sucks the essence out of it. <laughs> And you draw no more cards, obviously, because you're gone. What the fuck did that accomplish? <laughs> this CJ, aren't you glad you didn't kill him? No! <laughs> your, uh, your ship is about to be blown up by a bunch of torrents, oh as it has been moving the whole time. Group check, group check, group check. <laughs> I feel like it's too late for you. <laughs> Come on, bro. That was so funny. That was so, so I will funny. Let, I will let Jay roll. Hang on, hang on. Let's give Gillian all the- let's give fake Gillian all the magic items and put him in the crow's nest. <laughs> he can't do that. Our entire ship is magic. Magical. That's actually like a really, that's a really good fucking idea, but you will lose a lot. <laughs> I think we should use the wins coin, and yeah. I think we should try and go for it. And worst case, we go back to the dock, you know? Okay, alright, wins, wins coin, wins coin, we all row together. Um, I cast command on, on uh, Brain Dead Gilly, and I say, row. Um, I assume he just fails because he has no <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Head or tail, which one is heading, like, helps us. Uh, I feel like heads should help us, tail should okay. not, Okay. Right? I wonder why most people believe that, like, heads is good, tail's bad. You know what I mean? Because, like, that's where I'm at. Well, too late, because I already flipped it on fucking Google and I got heads. So an updraft, uh, that's good. I just want to be out of here, man. <laughs> Jay, flip the coin and then roll survival. Survival? You're gonna navigate this fucking ship by yourself with your crew paddling to to the fastest possible route out of here and try and avoid all mm -hmm. these lasers. Gillian, is it my destiny? Say yes. Oh yeah, no, it's super your destiny. Uh, Gillian has just been like staring at this fucking <laughs> husk of himself, like having an existential crisis. Fourteen. You start rocking forward, and everyone on your your ship is rolling these lasers all at once, just as you're about to get to the fucking exit of the stronghold. That is still slowly opening because the doors are so massive. It takes a long time to close and shut. Um, you fucking make orders of the crew in a certain way that tips your ship. Like with everybody moving their weight and grabbing onto different ropes and shit. Everybody, everybody to starboard. <laughs> right now. You tip this ship a little bit sideways as you're like kind of gliding on the side of your ship and, and grinding the waves. Uh, there's no waves because it's fucking uh, dead sea. But uh, And as that happens, you hear <laughs> arcane energy starts blasting towards you. And in the nick of time, you guys make it out uh, of the fucking stronghold bay that was tra previously trapped you and you were back out on the black sea as the ship just fucking slings back uh, right side up and it throws you all rolling across the main deck and this <laughs> fucking crazy chaotic moment and a uh, uh, lifeless husk of, of, of doppelgilly hits the railing and just lays there and everybody we will absolutely find a use for that Everybody on this ship is fucking panting and 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 hurt yeah. and, and 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 i let, a, I let <laughs> and out a that big was a fucking ride dude <sighs> okay where to next gang fuck you <laughs> <laughs> And that's where we're gonna end the session. Good fucking lord. That was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> Jesus from, like, Christ. <laughs> like, I didn't take it serious enough to, like, stressful to just funny as hell. That went from the most stressful session of my life to genuinely the funniest of my life. It is my greatest honor to thank and shout out our $50 tier patrons on Patreon. Thank you all so much. Let's get it going. Thank you to Jada Graf, Hayes Roper, GBS Child, Simi 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 Semi Colon, Deja Vu, Kepsubo, Stinky Man, High in Potassium, Wild Star 00, Shtum Yums, That One Furry, I'm Just a Burb, Cranky Martin, Ryan Jocelyn, Lightning Deathbringer, this next one is a long one and it's in a different language, but they paid $50 to embarrass me, so here it goes. Ad Teresa Puzzeretta Puli Lali Tatsianka. That's the best you're gonna get from me. <laughs> Jesus says Abraka, fuck you. It's Albert. William B. Wumbo. Insomnia Draws. Kelly the Raccoon. Agar Steeljaw. Karma Chikage. Lim Muncher. Mr. Anderson. 1078. Mephobia Man. Aaron Moment. Water Lenny. Alistair Susie. Roderick Motif. Falu Ash. 
Certified Cringe Fail Loser Boy To be determined the D&D group That one person EMT3 Kojo Wo Mr. C Nova Sync Teeny Ghosts It's C Fresh Me Forever Mate Stoosh Dude Sarazaku Charlie Darling Songbird Aqua the Kaizoku Microwave with a Hat As Ozo Cadis Betis Titan Storm Lemon Leviathan Ruth the Banana Duck Unstable Chaotic Cracker Bran Young Daxi Boy Vapor Colin the Bard I'm Butt Flusting Beans Pupper in a space suit, Jades, Pippin the Paladin, Sweet Cacti, Baka 7, Cows the Folded Pizza Zone, The Awesome Man, Chilean Vibe Strider, Man Made Imp, Jordan Darlin, I Am In Your Walls, Mr. Nasho, Wild James, Kev Senpai, Tingus Pingus, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear, Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, and Crew, Narwhal Shellfish, Crobins, Deathclaw, Glorbeck Eater of Worlds, Big Blue Bear Boy, Elvish Cyborg, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Sylvie Soul, Jason the Fricker, Unoia Loon, Cornier Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonzalot, Funny Hats Incorporated, JWI Enjoyer, and J Newell. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the suckening, and I hope you enjoy next episode as well. Bye bye.